Here is my worship. All of my worship. Receive my worship. All of my worship. Hallelujah. And I will not be silent. I will always worship you. Good evening, good evening, those of you that are coming in on Facebook. Thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. Good evening to those of you that are watching on YouTube. Thank you so much. TikTok always coming in the hearts, boy. TikTok be coming in the hearts. Thank you so much, TikTok, for the love. Good evening, Toby. Darts. Good evening. Thank you so much, um, Toby, for joining us tonight. Good evening to those of you that are watching on, what is this called? Instagram. Thank you for the love. God bless you. Amen. Man, I want this kind of faith. To God be the glory. Amen. Good evening. Good evening, y'all. God is so amazing. Thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. Listen, if this is your first time, I want to say welcome. My name is Pastor Cornelius. We are Heaven's Impact. We are a body of believers that absolutely love Jesus Christ. Are we perfect? No, but we're striving to be more like him. How? By taking time to pray, to worship him, to seek him. Amen. Because the Bible said to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Then he said, all these other things shall be added unto you, to us. So it's so important that every day we make time for God, y'all. But tonight is our night for communion. But I just want to say this. Boy, God is amazing. Can everybody just come in? Jesus, I love you. As you come in tonight, can everybody just come in on the stream? Jesus, I love you. Only if you love him. Can you just tell him, Father, I love you. I love you, Jesus. Adore you, Jesus. You're amazing, God. Can somebody just tell God that? That's right, Toby. He's amazing. You're amazing, God. That's right, Miss Linda. There is no one like you, Lord. There is no one like you, Lord. Father, we give you glory. Come on, can somebody just tell God that tonight? Say, God, I give you glory. Hallelujah. Can you just tell him that tonight? Father, I give you glory. Father, I give you glory, Jesus. There is no one greater. There is no one stronger. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run in and we are safe. There is safety in its presence. Father, we give you glory. We're grateful for your presence. We're grateful for your presence, Jesus. We give it over to you, God. Come on, can you just tell God tonight? Say, God, I give you glory. Come on, can you just tell God that tonight? God, I give you glory. I give you glory, Father. You're so worthy of glory. You're so worthy of honor. So we honor you. Come on, can you tell God that tonight for a few moments? Father, I honor you. Hallelujah. I honor you, Jesus. I honor you, Jesus. You're amazing, God. Hallelujah. You're amazing, God. Hallelujah. You are amazing. You are amazing, Jesus. Father, I owe you my worship. I owe you the praise, God, because you've been too kind to me. Anybody grateful for his mercy? Because you've been so merciful to me, God. I got to give you glory. I got to give you honor, God, because you've been so kind to me, God. It's because of your mercies we're not consumed. It's because of your mercies we're not consumed. So, Father, we thank you for your mercy. We give you glory for your mercy. We are grateful for your mercy, God. Father, we're grateful. Can you tell God that tonight? God, I'm grateful for your mercy. Anybody grateful for the grace and mercy of God? Maybe you're perfect. You, you dot every I. You cross every T. You always get it right. You ain't like Apostle Paul where Paul said he had that thorn in his flesh. He had to ask God three times to remove his thorn. And God said, no, his grace is sufficient. But is there anybody tonight 
that know that you need God. You need the grace and mercy of God. Because there's that thorn in you, something that tries to rise up, and you got to say, God, I need you. God, help me not to go off. Help me not to snap. Come on. Help me not to let people know that I'm nothing to be played with. Help me not to, you know, act them in a fleshy way. Help me not to fall back into those things that had me captive. Come on. Anybody grateful for the grace and mercy of God tonight? Father, we praise you for your grace. We give you glory for your grace, Jesus. We are grateful. We are grateful. Come on, tell them, I am grateful. Make it personal tonight. I am grateful. I'm grateful, God. I'm grateful that you keep on loving me. You keep on making me right. You keep on making me better. You're making me stronger. You're making me wiser. So we press in your presence. We press in your presence, God, because we really need you. Can somebody tell God that tonight? I really need you. Can you just let God know that tonight? I really need you. I need you, God. Hallelujah. Like the deer panted for the water brook, God, my soul thirsts for you. Mm. God, my soul thirsts for you. God, my soul thirsts for you. I can't make it without you, Lord. I can't make it without you, Jesus. Father, I need you. Father, I need you. Father, I need you. Can you just tell God that tonight? Say, God, I can't make it without you. Can't make it without you. I can't do this thing called life on my own. I really need you. I really do need you, Jesus. I really do need you, God. That's right, woman of God. We bow in your presence, God. We give you all of the honor. We reverence your name. We reverence your name, God. You're the name above every name. You are the name above every name. So we lift your name high. Can you tell Jesus that tonight? Say, Jesus, I lift you high. Come on, can you tell him that tonight? Jesus, I lift you high. I lift you high. You're the name above every name. That means if it got a name, his name is above it. Whatever it is. Come on, cancer, diabetes. Depression, oppression, sickness, disease, gout, blindness, whatever, HIV, you know, um, gonorrhea, whatever it is, come on. He's the name above every name. Yeast infection, he's the name above every name. Come on, liver cancer, whatever, he's the name above every name. God can heal anything. Hallelujah. The undefeated champion. Mm. The undefeated champion, he's never lost, and he won't start now. <laughs> he's never lost, and he won't start now. Hallelujah. He's never lost, and he won't start now. Hallelujah. Can somebody boldly tell God that tonight? God, you'll never lose. 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 Come on, tell them that tonight. God, you'll never lose. Whatever it is the doctor telling you that you got. The Bible said, whose report will you believe? Somebody ought to just boldly say, I believe God. I believe God. Hallelujah. I believe God. For the weapons of our warfare are not caught but mighty to thumb through God. To the pulling out of strongholds. Hallelujah. If it got a name, if it, whatever it is, we can pull it down. We bind cancer. We bind liver infection. We bind every blood, whatever it is that they said in your bloodstream. We bind the spirit of whatever it is, premature death, sickness, disease, infirmity, witchcraft, voodoo. We bind it in the name of Jesus. We send it back to outer darkness, back to the pits of hell from which it came. Hallelujah. Because Jesus has our power. Can I tell y'all something? I'm going to tell you, last night, boy, see, people look at you when you're doing ministry, and they think that it's always just so easy. You just get up there, you sing, or you just preach a message, but you're warring in the spirit. I thank God for people that got the Holy Ghost. Can I just tell y'all something? I thank God for people that got the Holy Ghost for real. Because you normally God don't let me just go anywhere, right? Usually when I go somewhere, I'm on an assignment. 
So usually God, I don't go, I don't just go to everybody church. I don't just go to everybody event. You hear me? So when God sends me places, I'm on an assignment. So last night, I went to um, the One Hallelujah Tour with um, Pastor Tasha Cobbs Leonard, um, Erica Campbell, Jonathan McReynolds, and um, Lord um, Jacqueline Carr, you know, um, last night, right? And Israel Halton. So I went to the concert. Thank you for watching from Ghana. God bless you, Africa. So I went to the concert last night, you know, me and, you know, my personal security that travels with me or whatever. So we went in there and I was in the original seats that I had gotten. But I went on assignment, you know, because I went because I wanted to tie them to Pastor Tasha um, last night. So I was like, you know, I'm going to go tie them to her, then I'm going to leave. But I, when I was getting ready to leave, like I, everybody God deals with differently, right? You know what I mean? Y'all living the right way. I mean, everybody God deals with differently, right? So a lot of times when my left eye go to jumping, it's like I feel like God is saying no. So I feel like maybe there was a word that my bodyguard needed to hear the guy because he's, you know, he's from the streets. So, you know, he he's a personal bodyguard for, you know, he works at high clientele type places at clubs and lounges. So I say, you know what? I'm going to stay because maybe there's a word that God wanted him to get. So I was in the, I was getting ready to walk out, getting ready to leave the venue, right? And as I'm getting ready to walk out, you know, um, people started stopping me in the, in the, um, in the, what is it called? Like in the, what the thing called? Like in the, the foyer, it's not the foyer, it's a concert place. Is that called the foyer too? Like in the lobby area where you go out there and you could buy like popcorn and all that in the concession area. So people started stopping me saying, hey, Pastor C, can I get a picture? And they was asking to take a picture with me saying, I follow you on social media. I remember you from Sunday best. So people saying, you know, I know you, I follow you on TikTok and oh my God, I love your prayers and your blessing. So I stayed and I was taking pictures with people. So as I was taking pictures, me and uh, my pers personal security guy that tra travels with me or whatever. So my sister, Rhea Walls, she comes walking out to meet me in the lobby so because I was getting ready to leave. And so Rhea gave, gives me these other tickets. So the tickets that Rhea gave me, because they gave them five for her and the Walls group for, you know, her brother and sister them. So she was like, here, um, you can have these tickets because I'm ready to go because she was ready to leave. So she gave me two tickets that was like right in the front. The tickets are like literally a few seats from the stage. So I was like, I told the guy, my personal security, I said, well, let's go inside to see, you know, um, let's just go see where it's at. So lo and behold, I didn't know. It was a setup by God. It was a setup by God. So I walk in there, right? And one of the things about me, the Bible say watch as well as pray. You know, I'm one of the people I'm always watching. You hear me? I'm always watching. So I could be eating, I'm looking, I'm, I'm checking my surroundings, I'm driving, I'm looking at everything around me, everywhere I go. Even in the Bible, when they was getting ready to go to war, it was a whole bunch of people coming up against them and they got afraid. So they was trying to grab as many people as they can to go to war with them. But God said no, because he realized that if they had a large number of people, the people would try to get the glory for winning the battle. So God said, no, he said, only take the ones that are watching as they suck. So take the ones that as they're eating, they're watching, they're looking around, they're seeing what's going on. So he said, only take the ones that are watching as they suck. Amen. So I'm one of the ones I'm watching while I'm eating. I'm looking. Look, if I'm on the phone, I'm, I'm checking my surroundings. So he said, don't just get because they want to grab as many people as they can to go to battle. But God already knew that they were going to have the victory. So he said, no, don't take a lot of people with you. Because they was nervous, they were scared because of the large army coming up against them. Can I just tell you something tonight? What you're up against may seem like it's large. It may seem like it's bigger than you. Because you're like, God, well, it's just me. I don't have nobody to help me. But can I tell you, if you knew what was inside of you, if you knew the power of the Holy Ghost that God has locked up inside of you, you can shift atmospheres. You can slay demons. So when I say it, I thank God for those who got the Holy Ghost. Today, before I got, I went live, um, Ja'Kayla Carr, she messaged me and she said, thank you for praying for me. I said, how do you know I was praying for you? And she was like, she felt it. She said it was revealed to me. 
that, you, that there were witches and warlocks in there. And I'm like, I said, how in the world did you know that? Ja'Kayla Carr, like literally just messaged me before I went live. She was telling me, thank you for praying for me. And, and let me tell you why it means so much to me. Because you guys don't know. When somebody is praying for you, they're interceding for you, they pull you out of the situation and now they're taking on the darts that was coming up against you. So when you ask somebody, pray for me, pray for me, I need prayer, I need prayer, but you don't even support the ministry, you don't contri contribute to it. So when that person get off, they drained because they've been warned for you. Right on here, even the enemy was trying to attack my eyesight last night afterwards. I was telling Ray, I was like, hold on, like while I was driving, like literally, like the warfare be great. So I went to, um, you know, the, the one hallelujah um, to a good meeting, um, Ray. So I went to the tour last night and Ray gives me her ticket. She was like, and it was God used Ray to destroy the plan of the enemy last night. Because there were some ladies that were there that were sitting on the side me. Let me tell y'all something. Those of you that are having conferences and you're doing things, don't just travel with musicians. Don't just travel with bodyguards. Get you some prayer warriors, some people that sit on assignment to pray, to walk the aisles, to see what's going on. Because there are people that are sit on assignment to supplicate the atmosphere of worship. They don't want deliverance to break out. They don't want healing to take place. So they sit, they do certain hand gestures, they act like they, they act like they mm, like they covered what's going on or whatever, but really they're on assignment. When I tell you last night, the power of God was so strong on me, I was well. I'm talking about the power of God was so strong on me. God set me right in front of the witches. There was at least three of them. Now, mind you, when I came, they were standing up and fake clapping and, and then, but doing certain things. I'm like, hold on, wait. Something ain't right. I'm talking about the power of God just was on me so strong. And I'm talking about the power of God was so strong on me last night that they sat in their chairs glued like this. Literally glued to their chairs like this. Even my bodyguard, now he's from the streets, my personal security, like he's like a thug type guy, but he was raised, you know, his family from the church, you know, he got praying family and stuff, so he believed in God, strong believer, but he's from the streets, so, you know, but he said, man, he said the power of God was so strong where we was at. He said, I felt it, bro. He said the power of God was so strong on you, they couldn't do nothing. But when I came, I saw them like they was doing certain hand gestures, like if they was trying to stop worship from breaking out. But when I tell you the glory of God came in that room, when Pastor Tasha and how I knew something wasn't right, because when Ta Pastor Tasha was ministering, she was like, and your miracle is coming. She said, your miracle is coming right now, right now. And so I'm, I'm, I'm worshiping God. And literally, I look at my phone and I show my, um, the guy that was with me, the bodyguard. I say, look, bro, look what just came in. Five hundred and some dollars. I said, look, bro, right while I was worshiping God, she said, your miracle is coming right now. And I just said, look, bro. And so at the time, I didn't know right away that, the, that it was the witches right behind me. So I turned to show them. I'm like, look what God just did while I'm worshiping him. Excited about what God did. Like, look, five hundred and some dollars just came in while I'm worshiping. So I was excited, like sharing it with the people how she's declaring that miracles are being released and it came right then and there. And that's when I called them. I said, these are witches. I said, they sitting on assignment. I could tell in a body language, every, let me tell y'all something. See, there are people that want to be called prophets. There are people that want to be called apostles and everybody want a big church. I'm not eager to open up no church. That's not even my desire. Everybody want to be praised by men. Everybody want to have this large church and this huge following. I'm on assignment by God. Because I can open, I could have been open up a church if that's what, what I want to do. I can open up a church today. That's not my desire. But if God tell me I have to do, then I have no other choice. But that's not my focus. 
So there are people that want to be called prophet. They want to be called apostle. Can I tell you what God has made me? A sniper in the spirit. I could go into a room and I know it's something. Yando, yamana, labas, yando. Go in the room and I know it's something not right. I can look and I'm like, mm -mm, something ain't right about that lady there, bro. Something not right. This is a witch. This lady sitting on, I just know. Like the Holy Ghost reveals it to me. But I want to say this. The Bible says here, Ephesians 6 and 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So there are people that come on assignment, releasing demonic darts, releasing sickness in the atmosphere, and you wonder how people get sick at a church event. She said, I knew back in 2019 that God called you. That's my sister, um, Miss Linda. She was on Sunday Best with me. Me and her was on the same TV show together. She said, I knew back in 2019. Let me tell y'all something about when God called you. Can I just encourage y'all tonight? It ain't for the weak. It can be a lonely journey. I want to encourage somebody tonight. It can be a lonely journey. Why? Because everybody's not going to like you. Everybody's not going to like you. People going to reject you. Don't even personally know you and they will lie on you. They will make up stuff about you. It ain't for the weak. That's why the Bible says count it all joy when they lie on you, when they persecute you, when they make up matter, all matter of evil against you. He said count it all joy. Don't get weary in well-doing. Why? Because in due season we're going to reap if we faint not. That's why the Bible said the present suffering of this time is nothing compared to the glory that shall be revealed in us. Can I just prophesy to you tonight? Glory is coming. Glory is coming. But you got to hang in there. Everybody's not going to like what God is doing in your life. Man, we're living in times where people will say, pastors don't help nobody. They don't give, they don't do nothing. But then when they see a pastor helping everybody, why you got to show that? We don't need to see that. Why you got to show that? But if you did see it, you'll be saying, what y'all doing with the money? Where the money going? Who y'all helping? I don't see. I mean, so the best advice that I can give to everybody that's on here tonight is just obey God. Can everybody come at that? Obey God. Obey God. Because one thing about man, man ain't going to like what God called you to do. And get this. As long as God is pleased, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Because if they don't see you helping nobody, they're going to say you're a scammer, you're taking the money, you're using it on your own self. Then when they do see you helping people, feeding the homeless, blessing people, buying people a car, helping people out, they'll say, well, why you got to show us that the Bible says you ain't got to show your charitable deeds. But the Bible says to let your light so shine that others will see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. So when people see what God is doing through us, guess what it does? It brings glory to God. And it shows unbelievers all pastors are not schemers. All pastors not trying to take. Some really want to be a blessing. Some really want to impact the, the earth with the glory of God before God come. So what the enemy is mad about, wow, now people are seeing the difference. They're seeing people that are serious about God. They're seeing people that love God for real. So now the enemy like, we don't need to see this. You need to stop this. I'm going to obey God. And if God tell me to show it, the Bible says my people perish for lack of knowledge. So the reason why many people are perishing because there's nobody there to teach them. So God, how do we teach the people? As pastors, as leaders, we lead by demonstration. We lead by demonstration. How can I teach you about tithing if I don't tithe? Help me, Holy Ghost. How can I teach you about sowing if I don't sow? How can I stand up there and tell you, okay, everybody, sow your seed, sow your seed, but I'm not sowing nothing. And so now when the devil is furious about, there's somebody actually leading by example. There's somebody actually doing what the Bible says. He's actually sowing. He's tithing. So how do we stop this God? He's teaching them the truth. And I don't want them to know the truth. But can I tell you something tonight? They can't stop God. Hallelujah. They can't stop God. And the devil is furious because God, listen, we're living in the end time. And the Lord is so soon to come. And the devil is mad. Wow, there are people actually doing what the Bible say. That's actually, there's actually leaders that are tithing too. Because tithing stops the curse. You, and, and listen, you can argue, you can make anything. You know, can I tell you something? Tithing stops the curse. 
If you want to know if tithing works, just look at the life of somebody that don't tithe versus the life of somebody that do tithe. The ones that don't ain't got no peace. Always frustrated. They always robbing Peter to pay Paul. They need a loan. They need a help um, uh, uh, a loan. They need somebody to help them with their bills. They need some, it's always something. They feel heavy. They always burdensome. They need prayer for this constantly. That's right. Woman of God say time and stop the curse. I'm a living witness. That's right, Miss Rosie. It's real. But the Bible say my people are perishing for lack of knowledge. Why? Because people don't want to receive the word of God. When you try to teach them what works, they want to try to come against you. Amen, Miss Carissa. I was just talking about that today. Just look at the life of somebody that doesn't tie versus the life of somebody that does tie. Then you can see we got joy. We can sleep. We got peace. Hallelujah. We don't let what people say. You know, sometimes it may bother us in the moment, but God don't allow us to overwhelm it. Why? Because he rebukes the devourer for our name's sake. So there are people that's not living God's best that he wants, that he's intended them for, um, for them to live because they're robbing him. They're robbing him. They show up to church. They will drain the mantle on your life. Pray for me for this. Pray for me for that. But they don't tithe. They don't sow. They don't even contribute so that more souls can be won. But the Bible says, store up your treasures in heaven where thief no moth can break in and steal. So how can you say that you got treasure stored in heaven where you don't even tithe? You don't sow. You don't give nothing. So how can you say that you got treasures in heaven? How? Because we're so focused on making sure that we got the fences car. We're making sure that we got the fences on house, the nicest clothes. But guess what the words say? It says, what does it, most of you that are watching on YouTube, please hit the thumbs up because somebody on the YouTube, I see one person already hit the thumbs up, but some of the people that's watching on YouTube, most of them are witches and, witches and monitoring spirits. So they come on YouTube to just sit and watch and release their demonic darts, but it ain't going to work. In Jesus' name, we bind every demonic force. And we render them null and void. We send it back to the pits of hell from which it came in Jesus' name. I knew it because they just sitting still watching. Only one person on YouTube liked the video, but all of them just sitting watching. One person gave a thumbs up. Amen. But y'all like the video because somebody's reporting. But it's fine. They can't stop what God is doing. The Bible says in Mark chapter 8, verse number 36, he says, for what shall it profit a man? Amen. Hallelujah. It says, to, um, if he shall gain the whole world, and lose his own soul. You got nice clothes. You got a nice home. Your business is a booming. You got a home in every state. Come on, you got all this popping for you on the earth. But what does it profit you to gain the whole world? You got the world's best, right? You don't have to be a member of a church to tithe there. You tithe wherever you're being fed at spiritually. Wherever Holy Spirit reveals to you as fertile soil, you do not have to be a member of a church to tithe there. You tithe wherever the Lord leads you, wherever you feel the, the soil is fertile. Because we don't tithe for a tax rental. We don't tithe for a 1099. We don't tithe for the government to give us back nothing. As we tithe, God rebukes the devour for our name's sake. God opens up the windows of heaven. God pours out blessing that we have not room enough to receive. So if I'm giving to God and I'm asking the government to write off what I gave to God, it's no longer secret. And now it's a loan. We don't loan God anything expecting the government to give us back what we gave to God. The Bible says he loves a cheerful giver. And as we cheerfully give, he cheerfully gives us peace, sweet sleep at night, open doors, favor, divine connections. So when people say that they can't afford the time, baby, you can't afford not the time. Because your peace is in your release. Your healing is in your release. Your breakthrough is in your release. See, we're saying, oh, I'm waiting on God to open doors for me. I'm waiting on God to heal my body. Baby, you ain't got no weight in the spirit. Because the Bible says you sell sparingly. You reap sparingly. You too busy spending thousands dollars on red bottoms. You too busy spending thousands on a gold chain. You too busy filling your mouth with gold and all that other stuff that you ain't got no weight in the spirit. None whatsoever. That's why the Bible says in Genesis 8 and 22, he says, as long as the earth is, uh, as long as the earth remains, it will be seed time and harvest. Do you want to know why many believers aren't experiencing Goshen, why they're not experiencing the abundance, the harvest of God? Because you don't plant seed. Seed time, harvest. Go with me. Let me just show you this. So you don't think I'm lying, making this stuff up. Y'all better stop letting people tell you you're not supposed to give to God. 
Y'all better stop having people lying to you, make you think you're just supposed to keep the malls in business. How in the world does it, that, does it that, that, that even sound? Listen to this. Oh God, give me a financial miracle. Give me overflow, God, so I can kick you out of it when I get it. How does that even logically make sense? Think about it. God, oh, I need a financial miracle, God. Oh, give me overflow, God. Here you go, baby. All right, now you can't have none, God. I'm going to get some more clothes. I need to get another car. I got a car here, but I want, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world? You got all the world's goods, but you have no weight in the spirit. And let me tell y'all something, those of you that are watching tonight. Can I tell you, that's right, meaning store out, because you're making sure the souls are being one. Can I tell you who recognize the power of sacrifice? Witches and warlocks. Obia workers. Those that deal with divination. That's why when they find out you're a Christian, man, they don't, listen, that's why they're not intimidated to come against most Christians. Why? Because they know many of us just come to church, listen to the word, and we leave. Dance, shout around, and leave. They know that. But when you start applying the word to your life, that's when it's a problem. Wait. He's teaching the people what works. Wait. He's teaching the people stuff that's going to shift that, that's going to stop witchcraft. He's teaching them what's going to cause their marriage to be restored. He's teaching them what's going to cause their businesses to increase. Hold on, wait. How do we stop this guy? Let's create fake pages of him. Let's create fake cash shops of him. Let's make the people think that he wants more money and scamming them. And let's act like we, he has an organization. He's in Africa. And he's asking people for money and asking for their WhatsApp, giving them lying prophecies that's not even from me on God. These witches are mad, furious. This guy knows too much. He knows about sacrifice. You know one of the things God had to teach me? He said, Cornelius, how do you think witchcraft starts? It all starts from a sacrifice. So instead of people using the seed to do great things, healing, increase, open doors, favor, breakthrough, restoration, sowing in faith for great things to happen. There are people that are literally sacrificing so that people get a divorce. Sacrificing so that people lose their business. Sacrificing so that people be sick in their body. Sacrificing so that, um, you know, families be filled with confusion. Mothers and daughters not talking. Fathers and sons not talking. That the families that fighting and stuff. Oh, yes. This is why you better be careful of monitoring spirits. Be careful of those who connect themselves with you to get information. There are people that literally will connect themselves with you because they want to find out what's going on with you. You hear me? They want to find out what you're doing. Where you, where you going at? I don't even post when I have to minister places. I don't even like sharing the flyers. Even though I do travel with personal security, I got a bodyguard and all that, I don't even like sharing it. Why? Because look, witches and warlocks want to know where you at. Want to know. So oftentimes I say, surprise, surprise, and I post the flyer, I post it the day of. But I'm going to tell y'all, be mindful of monitoring spirits. And let me tell you, they don't come as a witch with a long green pointy nose, riding on a broom, you know, dressed in all black. Sometimes they come in their regalias, their bishop robes. Sometimes they got on a long skirt and a piece of cloth on the head like they trying to protect themselves. Sometimes they speak in tongues. This is why you got to have the Holy Ghost. I remember when I was a little boy, I was hear the mothers tell people, no, nah, you ain't got it yet, baby. And I never understood how they know. How they know when people ain't got the Holy Ghost for real? You just know. You can tell. It's a sound. It's a sound that when you hear it, you say, oh, something ain't right about that sound. Now, people mimic it. And you go to shut it down. That don't sound right what you were just saying. When they be like, blah, 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 blah. No, that ain't the Holy Ghost, baby. That's a ghost, but it ain't the Holy Ghost. I'm telling you. That's right. She said, monitoring spirit showing uh, false kindness and false concern. That's how they do. Fishing for information. How you doing today? What you up to? You got anything planned? 
What you doing this weekend? Thank you, man of God. I'm going to pray for your tithe and offering. Give me a moment. I'm going to pray for your tithe. Your name starts with an M, so you know I'm talking to you, brother. Um, they, they got, but what you got planned today? Well, let me pray over now because you may have to go. But Father, I thank you for the tithe and offering that just came from the man of God. Your name starts with an M, my brother. God, even as he's giving you the 10% of his earnings, God, I declare according to Malachi chapter 3 and open heaven over his life. I ask right now, God, that you will continue to rebuke the divine for this man of God's namesake. God, I call for increase, abundance, favor, divine connection. I even pray, God, that you keep him covered as he's driving Uber. Continue to favor him and meet every need and multiply him even the more because he's taking care of your will in the earth before you return. Father, I even thank you for the tithe and offering that just came from the woman of God. Your name, you know who you are, woman of God. And I listen, I just, I, I just love how God is moving in your life. But God, I thank you for this woman of God as she released her tithe and offering. God, you promise in the book of Malachi chapter three that you will rebuke the devourer for her name's sake. So right now, Father, in the name of Jesus, I bind witchcraft, voodoo, divination, sorcery, premature death, sickness, disease, infirmity, every attack that the enemy has tried to release against her marriage. God, we bind it up, we render it null and void, and we send it back to the pits of hell from which it came. In the name of Jesus. And we declare, Lord God, restoration to every area of life, to our marriage. That everything that the locust, the canker worm, and the palmer worm has tried to eat up from her over the years, God, I declare that it's all coming back. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, woman of God, for your obedience to the Holy Spirit and releasing um, your tithe and offering. But can I just, I want to share a little bit of her testimony to uh, the woman of God that just tithed tonight. So before she found the ministry, her marriage was under attack. I'm not going to say her name so y'all don't know who she is. But anyhow, her husband had left to go be with another woman. But can I tell y'all, can everybody just say Jesus is powerful? I want everybody to just declare that tonight. Jesus is powerful. Come on, I'm going to show y'all something tonight. Jesus is powerful. Hallelujah. He's a powerful God. Undefeated champion. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So the Bible said we boast. We boast in the Lord. Hallelujah. We boast in the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Prophet Sophia Ruffin. I don't know if you're on here tonight, but thank you. Um, you're welcome to God be the glory. Amen. Because Prophet Sophia Ruffin. See, I saw y'all even when I ain't on the line. Nobody would have even known that I sold it to her, but she posted on her stories telling me thank you for the seed that I sow early. Can I tell y'all sowing shifts things immediately? I sow often. Most of the seed that I sow, y'all don't even know because I be sowing in private. Putting a demand in the spirit. The Bible says Genesis 8, 22, while the earth remain of seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer, winter, day and night shall not cease. As long as there is an earth before Jesus Christ returns, there will be seed time, harvest, cold, heat, summer, winter, night, day shall not cease. Amen. So the woman of God found the ministry. Her husband had left and was with another woman. But this woman loves God true woman of God that want to make God proud, that want to do things God way, right? So anyhow, thank you, Lord. She, um, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let me respond. Uh, uh, um, senor. Amen. Or either um, Lord, I'm responding back, multitasking. So her husband had left. And so she said, right, she goes and she was like, um, she said, um, she, she said, Pastor, I'm so glad, you know, I found your ministry. I said, this is what you got to do. You got to start tithing. Because God said, I rebuke the devourer for your name's sake. That means wherever the enemy is trying to attack your marriage, where he's trying to attack your finances, your health, tithing is literally your spiritual insurance policy. Just like Pastor Shirley Caesar said in that song, you want your child to get delivered, you want to get him on drugs. How she said, pay your tithe and offer. Even Pastor Shirley Caesar got a song called Tithe and Offer. She said, you want to get your son delivered. You want your family to be restored. Say, you want to get them off of that crack home. Pay your tithe off it. It's literally a spiritual principle. See, you thinking about, oh, I'm just giving my money. Why I got to give my money to God? Why you got to give it to the moms? Why God got to give my money? Why you got to give it to the car dealership? Why you got to give it to the landlord? So anything that we're giving to, we're sacrificing. Can I just explain this to you? It's not that you got to have that nice Bugatti. Thank you, woman of God. I'm going to pray for your time. It's not that you got to drive, you know, a Rolls Royce. 
You're sacrificing for that life, right? Because you want to drive that nice vehicle. I'm a prayer of your time. Not, your name starts with an M. Give me a moment. But you, you want that nice vehicle. You want to live in a big, beautiful home. So that way, when you have guests over, you can be like, oh, come over. Come see my house. And have everybody come over so they can see you got a nice, elaborate home. And you feed everybody. You got a personal chef and everything, right? You want to live that. And I'm not saying there's nothing against that. But you're sacrificing for that lifestyle. But here it is. Witches. Warlocks, those that deal with divination, thank you, Tank. They recognize the power of sacrifice. And there are people that will connect themselves with you to find out what you got going on in your life and they will sacrifice to block it. It's real, y'all. So she told me her husband, you know, was going to be with a woman. I said, you got to start tithing. She started tithing. Hadn't heard from her husband. She said, Pastor, she said, keep praying. I just heard him. He called, he called me, Pastor. He called, keep praying. Can I tell y'all something? It's not that I was praying, although I do pray over everything that comes in. It's because of your obedience. The Bible says faith without works is dead. So we can't say that we believe in God to do something without activating our faith. You can't say that you believe in God to pour out his favor. His blessing. The Bible says to whom much is given, much is required. Then he said, if you be faithful over the few things, then I'll make you ruler over me. So we got to first show God that he can trust us with the few that we got. Then God can give us overflow. Somebody ought to tell God tonight, God, you can trust me. So she started tithing. She even started doing like the Jews do. You want to know why the Jews so blessed? They don't give 10% to God. You want to know why the Jews own all the businesses? You want to know why the Jews got the best vehicles? Why they got homes all over the place? They don't give God 10%. Do you know what Jews get? 20%. While we fighting about giving God 100 from 1,000 or 1,000 from 10,000 or 100,000 from a million, the Jews be giving double that plus an offering. And this is why they got the best because they got weight in the spirit. I'll never forget, I used to be, I was a security officer. Many of y'all probably don't know that. I went to school for nursing and for culinary arts, but I was a security officer. So I remember working in condo buildings and I would see these people in nice buildings and I'm like, I say someday I'm going to live in a condo building. Yeah, I'm working out because I'm like, man, they living a the life. I say someday I'm going to live in a condo building with concierge and people to let me know if I want to let somebody come up where nobody could just come. I, I prophesied that over my life while I was a security officer. I'm like, Lord, how do you get to live like this? I'm like, hold on, wait, what, what is it? Can I tell y'all, these people, some of them, the Jews, own their own condos on the beach. And listen, they gut out, they got so much money that they gut out the inside of their condo. They go home to their winter home. Like when, I'm the, when it's summertime, they go back to wherever they live over the states where it's cold at because it's summertime in the state. And when it's cold and it's snowing, they come back to Florida. And so when they come back, their whole inside be totally different. There are people coming there, rearrange their whole home, change the setup of the bathroom. They switch the room. They got money just to play with. That's how much money they got. Got so much money, and that's because God can trust them. They don't rob God. They get 20%. But we fight about, well, I got to give to God. Well, I got, God don't need nothing for me. It ain't about the money. I'm a prayer of your seat, woman of God. Um, I think it's a man or woman of God. Give me a moment. You believe in God for financial breakthrough. I'm going to pray over it. Amen. Give me a moment, woman of God. Well, I got to give. God don't need my money. Y'all just scamming. Okay. You want to, you, you, you think we scamming? Why? This is what the Bible say. He say, prove me. This is what God say. Not the pastor. Not the church. He said, prove me. He said, see if I will not open you up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you have not room enough to receive. So we're not depending upon the church or the pastor to give us nothing. God said, put me to the test. Watch, I show you that my word works. Can I tell you, her husband went from, she wasn't hearing from him, all being with a woman that she felt like putting witchcraft, to now he's, they're working on getting him back, like moving in his paperwork and stuff. Can I tell y'all something? You can't stop a faithful time. You can't. And that's what witches and warlocks recognize. This guy is teaching them spiritual principles. He's teaching them how to shift things in the spirit. How do we stop him? He knows too much. He's teaching them not to be stingy with God. 
They're supposed to just give to the malls. They're supposed to just give to the department store. They're, just, they're supposed to just give to the drug dealers, to the alcohol, you know, to the liquor store. They're not supposed to be giving to God because they're not going to stop the curses. And this is why they're mad. This guy knows too much. They recognize everything in life is about sacrifice. So there are people that will give thousands of dollars because they want to see your business not grow. I'm going to pray for you, see woman of God. Thousands of dollars, or oh, man of God, sorry. Because they want to see you stuck in life. And because some of us can be so stingy, you allow the enemy to get the upper hand because you're being stingy with God. Selfish. But can I tell y'all what the word of God say? That the word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. So it cuts. So what he's doing is cutting out that selfishness, cutting out that, that stinginess from within us. And as you start to prove God, he shifts your help, open doors for you, divine connections. Can I tell y'all something? If I wasn't a faithful tither, I don't believe that God would trust me with the level of people that reach out to me for advice and stuff. I don't believe that. If I was in a faithful tither, I wouldn't be connected, you know, where I can go in there like with Tosh, Pastor Tasha Cobbs Leonard and, you know, different people. God wouldn't even allow me to go in those places. You got to prove that you can be trusted. And can I tell y'all something? God allowed me to go in these arenas for a reason. Like my brother, Todd Delaney. Many of us know him. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. He texts me. He say, Pastor C, I just want to thank you, man. Thank you for teaching me about sowing. Man, ever since I've been sowing, my life has just changed tremendously. He said, bro, there was some money that was held up for me that I had been waiting on for a long time. I sold and $40,000 got released. Can I tell y'all something? You can't beat God giving no matter how hard you try. Because every time you give, he's going to give right back to you even greater. She said, Pastor Tasha did say that God can trust you. To God be the glory. Listen, because every time you give to God, he's going to give right back to you. You hear me? Right back to you. It works. You hear me? That's why he said give and it shall be given. But get this what he said. He said good measure, press down. What does that mean? Good measure, press down. That means it's going to be so much that you're going to be pressing it down like, wait, hold on, wait, wait, and running over can somebody just come and overflow? And this is why there's a lot of pastors that don't like me. Why? Because this guy's leading by example and many pastors don't tie. That's why they don't like me. And I'm cool with that. I'm okay with that. As long as God is pleased with my obedience, this is why there's many leaders that do not like me. And I know that this walk with living for Christ, it's a lonely journey. Let me tell y'all, when I get off this live, I don't have a whole lot of people that I be talking to and texting and hanging with and stuff like that. I don't. Because some of them don't even like you. They're intimidated by what God is doing through you. But if they had the common sense, why wouldn't you just connect with the person and learn? Glean from them. There's numerous bishops. People old enough to be my granddaddy that come back to me and say, man of God, I'm learning so much from you. Thank you for this. Thank you for this teaching, man. I'm a bishop and man, you just pouring into me and I'm just growing so much. But can I tell y'all something how I had to learn this? I suffered for this. Can I just tell you that tonight? I suffered for this. You hear me? I suffered for this. Can, so can I just tell y'all tonight? It costs for the anointing. It does. It costs. Sweetheart, you don't have to tell me what you got. That's between you and God. You're being a distraction. It costs for the anointing. You got to go through that beating through the crushing numerous times bound by witchcraft but going in the church saying power God fall have your way Lord have your way have your way Lord have your way your name is hollow in this place bound by witchcraft and nobody knew Nobody knew. Feeling like snakes was in my stomach. 
Money, God, what is going on? What, what is this that I'm encountering? Somebody ought to just comment on the screen. God is molding me. He's molded me because of the places where he's going to take me into so that I know I don't have to be afraid of what's in there. That the witches and warlocks won't shake me because I've been there, been through that, know what it feels like and know that you're not more powerful than God. Come on, he's getting you ready for something greater. That way when you encounter witches and warlocks, their powers are of no effect to you because you fought through those things that they tried to release. You've been to hell and back. You've been through it all. Tell me, I've seen darkness on the earth. I've seen all kind of stuff. I've seen the spirit of death come down on the earth with my own eyes. And I begin to war in the spirit. Binding up premature death. Binding, I'm talking about I've seen stuff start to move in slow motion. So that way, when you encounter those who try to work that stuff, you've been there. Like, come on, no, I, I, I ain't new to this. Come on, I know no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I know that God has given me power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing by any means shall harm me. I know that when the enemy comes in like a flood that the spirit of the Lord will lift up a stand against him. I know that whatever I bind on earth is bound in heaven and whatever I loose on earth is loose in heaven. I know that God be for me who can be against me. Why? Because he's more for me than the whole world against me. I know that he's given his angels charge of me, Psalms 91, to keep me, to hold me up lest I dash my foot against a stone. Somebody ought to just prophesy tonight, I got angels with me. Come on, I want you to prophetically declare that tonight. I got angels with me. I got angels with me. Come on, I got angels with me. I, I, I want you to say it with boldness, with authority. I got angels with me. Hallelujah. And he said, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. You got to know who you are in the spirit. Let me tell you, last night when I was at that concert, them witches and warlocks couldn't move. And God sat me right in front of them. And they was glued to the chair like this. I'm talking about the power of God was so strong on me. I'm real They was, couldn't move. The lady was looking like, and I turned. And I said, witches and warlocks. And they just like. This is why y'all need to be connected with people that can hear. Get you some friends that got the Holy Ghost for real. Get Disconnect yourself from them people that's jealous of you. Get you some friends that's going to pray for you. Get you some friends that's going to cover you. This is why God don't let me connect with everybody. That's why he keeps me with, to myself. I don't have a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of people, you know, I may know of or know of me, but I don't have a lot of people that I sit and talk with all day and every day and just hanging with them and stuff. I don't. Because can I tell y'all something? Everybody can't handle what God is getting ready to do in your life. Can I just prophesy to you? Where you're going, everybody can't handle it. Because can I tell y'all something? The same one that was singing and shouting your praises, Saying that they're excited for you will be the same ones trying to crucify you in private, lying on you, making up stuff about you, saying that you're doing it to be seen. But don't even recognize you're doing it in obedience to God because people are passionate for lack of knowledge because they think we're not supposed to give to God. And so now they're bound with witchcraft because witches are sacrificed and they got you stuck in the spirit. There are people literally in the spirit realm. You are bound, chained, got a muzzle over your mouth. And you wonder why you're so nervous. Why you can't speak in front of a large crowd. Because somebody's sacrificing to keep you from fulfilling purpose. And because we're too stingy to give to God, we think we're only supposed to give to Neiman Marcus. We're only supposed to give to Saks Fifth. We're only supposed to give to Louis Vuitton. We're only supposed to give to the car dealership. We're only supposed to give to the landlord, to the light bill people, to the rent. But why am I giving to things before giving to the one that holds the whole earth together? The Bible says the earth is the Lord's. And the fullness of them and all that dwell therein. So that's like you living in my house, but you giving to somebody else that's renting a room to me to rent. So you're going to give to the thing that's in my world before giving it to me when I'm the one that created it. Don't you know that the Bible said that the heart of the king is in his hand? God could turn the hearts of the, of the landlord and the people to favor you? He could go in the computer system and shake things up in your favor? Somebody ought to just prophesy and I tell God, say, God, favor me. Favor me. 
Because can I tell you something? Just like the Bible said, the enemy desires to sift you as wheat. He don't want us to feel, fulfill what God has for us. He don't want to see doors open up for us. He don't want to see us walk in abundance. And this is why you cannot allow everybody access to your life. Because some of these people in the church and in the industry are monitoring spirits. They want to hear what's going on in your life so that they can go back and report it. Can I tell you something, man of God? Those of you, you know, you, you got the nice cars and everybody look up you, you got the gold chains. But can I tell you something, bro? You got all the earthly goods, but you ain't got no weight in the spirit. So you up against a witch or a warlock, it's a losing battle because they sacrifice. They sacrifice. They sow to keep you focused on the things of this world. They sow so that you be distracted. But I declare we won't be distracted. You And I stand in agreement with you, woman of God, and I declare that your government funds will be released in, they released to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, man of God. I bind every curse from off your life. Even as you release that seed in faith, I declare that the curse is destroyed in Jesus' name. One thing about a seed, once it leaves your hand, it never leaves your life. So the moment you sacrifice that seed, things start shifting in the spirit realm. That's why I be so quick to refund money back. And Father, I thank you for the seed that came from the woman of God. Your name starts with a K. She said, I'm sowing it to the man of God. But this is what I want you to do, sweetheart. Name your seed what you need God to do. You know what? Let me say something. Father, we give you glory. Give you glory, Jesus. We give you glory. You're amazing, God. You are amazing. I don't believe that you're sowing to try to come against me. You know, because one of the things I'm going to tell you what you did when you said I'm sowing it to the man of God, you capitalized the G in God. So, Father, I thank you for even to see where the woman of God is sowing to be a blessing. God, you said in your word, I'll bless those who bless you and I'll curse those who curse you. So, God, even as this woman of God is sowing into my life to be a blessing so that I can do your will in your, I pray that you bless her. God, multiply her seed for someone. I bind every voice of the enemy that tries to play with her thoughts. And I speak peace to her mind. I ask right now, God, that you bring forth restoration to this woman of God. And give her joy. Amen. I declare the joy of the Lord to you, my sister. Your name starts with a thank you, Lord. I don't went back out of it. Your name starts with a case, so you know I'm talking to. And God, I thank you for the seed that came from the man of God. He says, God, please bring me destiny helpers. God, you said in your word, give and it shall be given. You say whatsoever we sow, that shall we reap. So even as this man of God has released this seed of faith, God, we call forth his destiny helpers. God, send the people to help him fulfill the assignment, the purpose that you called him to do in the earth. In the name of Jesus. And Father, I thank you. And let me say this, amen. Um, I want to say this to those of y'all. The Bible says this. If you sow sparingly, you reap sparingly. But he said, if you sow bountifully, you reap bountifully. So I want to say this to you. Your seed should match your faith. Because he says, so much is given, much is required. There's no way I'm expecting God to give me a whole lot. But my, my, seed, is, my seed is saying opposite from what my faith says. Oh, I'm believing God for something amazing. But what I'm giving him is like, here, God, get this and get out of my face like Cain did. Don't be like Cain. Don't throw crumbs at God. Do you know Cain threw anything at God and God rejected his sacrifice? But his brother Abel got jealous because God blessed him. His, um, Cain got jealous of Abel because God blessed him for his sacrifice. Because Abel gave God something that meant something to him. Oftentimes we just throw anything at God. If I could spend $100 on a haircut, why am I giving God less? If I could spend, you know, $80 to fill my gas tank, why am I giving God less? He say, you so spend, you reap spend. So this is one of the things I like to say, people, how bad you want to see things shift in your life. Because can I tell y'all about those that deal with divination? They give hundreds, thousands. See, I, you know, we don't know better when we, back then we didn't know better when we would hear people say, all right, we, we're sowing a sacrificial seed of a thousand dollars. Those of you in the church that got a thousand, come on, we're sowing our seed. And you be saying, oh, they're giving all that money. I wouldn't be giving my money like that to no church. And guess what you're showing God? You can't trust me with greater. You literally just told God, you can't trust you with overflow. 
You can't trust you with heaven's resources because the moment that it comes, you're going to keep the malls open. You're going to keep your favorite restaurants in business. You're going to keep your favorite shoe stores in business. You're going to keep the nail salon, but you don't care if souls get saved before he returns. That's why the Bible said that the tithe is holy unto God. Because when you're giving that 10% unto God, you're making it possible so that more people get to know Jesus. This is why we don't tithe into the homeless. We don't tithe because we want to help our family member pay their bill. The tithe must make sure that the will of God is going in the earth before Jesus Christ is God. And can I tell y'all something? He's on the way. The king is on the way. Jesus is coming. And guess what's going to happen when he comes? There's going to be a righteous judgment. What is a righteous judgment? See, uh, when we repent and we ask for forgiveness, our sins, he remembers them no more. But a righteous judgment, he speaks of the good things that we did. I watch you faithfully tithe so that souls get to know me. I watch you give and contribute so that more, so that heaven get packed. And then he begins to show you, look at all these souls. Because of your obedience and tithing over the years, faithfully given, if it wasn't for your obedience, all of these people wouldn't have made it into heaven. So while you're so busy focusing on getting a new car, the Bible says, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world? You got all the worldly goods, but losing your soul, you don't even care if people know Jesus. And God is looking for people that will fund the kingdom of heaven and the earth. Kingdom funders. People that ain't going to fight about giving so that his word is being preached. Because what the devil is on assignment to make it where you don't hear no preaching. Where when you look online, all you see is people with perfect bodies so that now you're feeling like you're not good enough. People with fight videos online, violence, cussing, foolishness. Hallelujah. So he want to make it that when he sends thoughts of depression, when he sends thoughts of suicide, that you run and take your life. You hear me? That you run and take your life. This is what he wants. Because he knows that when he releases those demonic thoughts to your mind. That you just immediately go get, commit suicide. Why? Because there's nobody there to speak life to you. Because the Bible says faith comes through hearing. Hearing of the word of God. Then he said how can they hear without a preacher? So what the devil is on assignment to do. Is make it where there's no preachers. That way when he sends thoughts of divorce. You run the divorce court and leave your spouse. You don't fight for your marriage. That way when he sends thoughts of confusion to your family, you stop speaking to your loved ones. You don't talk to them. You don't pray for them. That's what he wants. He's the author of confusion. That's what the Bible says. So if there's no preachers, how can your faith be activated? Pay attention to the devil. He's very cunning. You don't have to give to God. God don't need your money. Don't give what he sends. No. Stop all preaching. Stop all worship. We don't need nothing about God in the earth. That way when I start releasing my demonic agenda, people just be like zombies and do whatever I say. That way when they hear stuff on the news, they become fearful. They become fearful, afraid. That's what he want. He wants you to walk in fear because of what's on the news. Because there's nobody there to tell you God is not giving us the spirit of fear but a power love and of a sound mind. Nobody there to remind you what the words say. This is what he wants. So if we don't contribute to the kingdom, how is the kingdom of God going to keep going in the earth? How is more people going to get to know about God? And we say, God don't need nothing for me. I ain't got to get a God. I'd rather give to the mall. I'd rather give to the store. So basically you just told God that Neiman Marcus and Louis Vuitton is more important than you. You just told God that Gucci and Fendi and Prada is more important to you than him. More important than souls knowing him. And this is why people are perishing for lack of knowledge. Amen? Perishing. Because we don't even know that sowing shifts things in the spirit realm. But I'll say faith without works is dead. So if you're saying, I, I got faith that God going to do it for me, baby, you got to work your faith. You got to work your faith. And we're in a season where God wants to favor his people. He wants to open doors. I see you soul, woman of God. Amen. I decree and I declare financial breakthrough to you. Your name starts with a J. Also, woman of God, I decree and I declare total healing to your pastor. Amen. Amen. You say you're sowing that God will heal your pastor. I stand in agreement with you and I declare total healing to your pastor. 
Keep my faith repeating too. Father, I thank you. Lord God, even as she said, keep her faith repeating. Father, I pray that you activate her faith to trust you on a greater level in the name of Jesus. Increase her hunger and thirst for you. Your name starts with a Q. Give her hunger and thirst for more of you. But can I tell y'all something tonight? We're in a season where God is making the supernatural happen for his people. Can I just tell you that? He's making the unexpected happen for those that are not being stingy with him. Those that are not being selfish with him, but wanting him to give you overflow. How does that sound? God bless me so I can keep it to myself and don't give to you. If you be faithful over the few, then I'll make you rule over me. Anybody believing for God to favor them tonight? Anybody believing for God to open doors in your business, in your homes, to send forth the right connections, to move them? Hallelujah. But this is what we're going to do tonight. One of the most powerful things you can ever do is put a demand in the spirit. The Bible says, as long as the earth remains, Genesis 8 and 22, there will be seed time and harvest. Can I tell y'all something tonight? There is no harvest without first planting seed. So when people say, oh, this is my season for grace, for favor. This is my season to reap what I have sown. How can you reap when you haven't sown anything? So we're looking for a harvest from a place that we haven't even released seed into. So how can God increase you when he can't trust you with the increase? So what we're going to do tonight, amen, hallelujah, we're going to release a sacrificial seed. Those of you that can, woman of God, we re us receive your seed. You say you're sowing for prosperity of your family. I decree and I declare prosperity. I call for the abundance in your family that God will multiply your seed for someone. But tonight, we're going to get a sacrificial seed of 100. If God tell you to get more, and listen, let me tell y'all something about me. I'm going to sow too. And get this, I'm going to sow more than 100. But tonight, we're going to get a sacrificial seed of $100. If God tell you to get more, you get more. I just believe what the Bible says. If you sow sparingly, you're going to reap sparingly. And there's a lot of people that's expecting God to give them a big harvest when they keep giving God the bare minimum. And this is why the return comes on the level of your sacrifice. You want God to make big connections in your life? Well, have big faith. But the Bible says faith without works is dead. So if I can sacrifice $100 for a haircut, then truly God is more worthy than that. He's worthy of my best. Amen. Hallelujah. So tonight we're going to get a sacrificial seed of $100 and we're going to name our seed. That's why it's going right back to you. God gives it right back even greater peace, joy, favor, increase, abundance. So what we're going to name our seed tonight, God, favor me. Favor me. Guess what the Bible says? He said, whatsoever you sow, you're going to reap it. And there are people that are sacrificing that you don't get favor. There are people that are sacrificing so that doors don't open for you. There are people that are sacrificing because they don't want to see your business increase. There are people that are sacrificing because they want to see you stuck in life. But tonight, we're going to put a demand in the spirit and watch things shift. Watch things shift. You'd be surprised the type of people who I looked up to that now calls me for advice. Man of God, what you think about this? What do you believe God want me to do about this? Can I tell y'all something? This is the season where God is supernaturally excelling his people. Supernatural. We don't live on the, on the earthly economy. Thank you, Ray. We receive your seed, my sister. And I decree and I declare the favor of God over your life. I call for even greater doors for you. That God will open up doors for your gift to make room for you. I pray that God put you on platforms that you never dreamed or imagined you'd ever be on. Because of your sacrifice into this soil. We call for the right people to locate you tonight. Do it now, God. Release the right contracts to Rhea. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Those of you, make sure that you name your seed. We're naming our seed tonight. God favor me. Those of you that are so sweet, God, let me say this. We don't put praying on our seeds. Amen. Because when we sow, we sow in faith. We don't charge for prayer, okay? So you're saying praying, we don't do that. Ray, my mama said, tell Ray hello. Amen. But when we're sowing, we sow in faith. Amen. He said, this moment is confirmation for me. To God be the glory. So when we sow, we sow in faith. We don't name our seed. Pray for this. No, we don't charge for prayer. The Bible says, whatsoever you sow, you're going to reap it. So we're not coming asking. We're naming our seed. God, favor me. 
Put a demand in the spirit. He said, you decree a thing, it shall be established here on earth. So we're not saying, oh, oh pray that he favors me. No, God, I'm, I'm sowing in expectation. God, favor me. Maria said, hi, God, favor me. And guess what he said? You want to see how God is divinely placing me, placing the doors are opening up for my life? Because I sow seeds. Even when I'm not on the line, I'm sowing. When I get up in the morning, please capitalize the G in God. I don't know what God you're talking about, man of God, but we capitalize the G in God. All right, my brother? We're naming our seed. God, favor me. Those of you, if you're looking for the ways to give us in the bio, watch how things shift in your life. I'm telling you, God will start connecting you with people. And you'll be like, hold on, wait, how did this happen? supernatural you got to show God that he can trust you with where he's getting ready to take you the platforms he's about to put you on the stages he want to make sure that when I put you in this place you're not going to allow the influence that I get you to take my place somebody ought to come and it's all about Jesus Come on, I want you to come in that on the street. It's all about Jesus. Every door that I step through, every platform that you put me on, God, you're going to be glorified. I'm going to make sure I let them know it's no goodness of my own. In fact, I'm a mess. My righteousness is but filthy rags. I'm a mess. I need the grace and mercy of God daily. Because in the flesh lies no good thing. Good morning. I'm good evening, Judah Ben. Love you, my brother. Listen, in the flesh lies no good thing. So it's because of, he says it's mercy that we're not consumed. So it's no goodness of my own. And we're living in times where those that got a gift, that can hear from God a little, they get prideful and arrogant and want to throw darts. Baby, you better stay humble. Because can I tell y'all something? The same finger that you're pointing at other people saying that they're falling, remember when you point one finger, there's three more pointing back at you. Three more. Because all of our righteousness is but filthy rags. You may not be sinning, sleeping around, or cussing like they may be doing, but you're gossiping and that's sin. You're lying. Lying on different things. Act them telling the bill collectors you ain't got it or you not, or act them, you know, not answering the phone call. No good and well, you see it ringing and they calling for their money. So although your sin may not be the same as somebody else, you want to throw stones. What did God say? What did Jesus say? When they was trying to throw stones at that woman that had committed adultery. He said, he that is without sin, cast the first stone. And guess what they did? Everybody had to drop their rocks on the ground. Because ain't nobody perfect. That's why he said, you got to work out your own soul salvation with fear and trembling. So when you go before the platforms and you speaking and ministering to people, instead of pointing out other people and what they struggle with, how about you say, God, clean my heart. God, clean my mind. God, keep me pure. Because the Bible says that only the pure in the heart, only the pure in heart shall see God. So if I'm gossiping and talking bad about people and trying to turn other people against other people, that's witchcraft. If you ever hear a leader, a pastor, a prophet telling their followers, don't talk to somebody or don't be free in this person, don't follow that person, baby. That's the spirit of control, witchcraft, manipulation. And if you're one of those people, that listen to pastors, and if they tell you don't listen to certain people or don't be connecting this person, and you're listening to it, baby, you're under the spirit of control. God, keep me sharp in the spirit because I don't want to ever go against my brother and sister in Christ. I don't want to ever call somebody out their name. If anything, my prayer should be, God, deliver them. Give them back their hunger and thirst for more of you. God, draw their heart back to you. God, allow them to fulfill the purpose that you called them to do. Don't let them die in their sin. But we're living in times where people, we act like we're good at two shoes. But like we're so perfect. Oh, when I wake up in the morning, me and Jesus, we have coffee and we have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I mean, I don't say nothing wrong. The devil is a liar. He said, a just man falls seven times. That means a righteous man, an upright man, somebody that's living holy, falls seven times, but he gets back up again. So instead of pointing the fingers at leaders and people that we see fall publicly, pray for them. God have mercy on them. God, I don't know what they're dealing with, but I ask that you give them back that fire for you. Give them back that thirst for you. God, give them back that hunger for you. Restore them. Restore them. That's right. 
You better keep your mouth open. That's right. Because the Bible says, touch not my anointing, do my prophet no harm. Some of you wonder why you in, why your finances is under attack, but you can hear from God. Because you keep coming against other men and women of God. Wondering why your marriage and pride is suffering. Wondering why you always broke. Baby, you better take your mouth off of other people. Because he said, business is mine, said the Lord. God fights for his children. Amen. I see you, those of you that are sowing. Amen. Make sure that you name your sacrificial seed. God favor me. And remember, we capitalized the G in God. God favor me. Thank you, woman of God. We receive your seed. Come on. Those of you that are sowing, make sure you name your seed. God favor me. The Bible says, whatsoever you sow, you're going to reap it. Genesis 8 and 22. While the earth remained, seed time and harvest. Remember this, people of God. There's no harvest without seed. And people wonder why I sow like I do. Baby, I'm not just giving away money. I'm not just giving somebody money. I ain't trying to be nobody's friend. I ain't trying to buy my way in nobody, no relationship with nobody. Because then that's fake and phony. And I don't need no phony people around me. I'm putting a demand in the spirit. When you see me sowing, I'm putting a demand in the spirit. I'm shifting things in the atmosphere. I'm stopping word curses. I'm causing doors to open. I'm stopping sicknesses. Bringing forth healing, breakthrough. Once, and this is why the word says, my people are perishing for lack of knowledge because we sacrifice for everything else but to God. You don't mind sacrificing to have a nice car. You don't mind sacrificing to live in a nice home. Thank you, those of you that are so on. You don't mind sacrificing to have the best clothes and the best shoes so that your business can have the best equipment, the best food in your restaurant. But in the spirit realm, you have no way. You sow sparingly, the Bible say you reap sparingly. You sow bountifully, you reap bountifully. So God is letting, literally letting you know I'm matching your faith. Because faith without works is dead. What did he say? He says, now unto him who is able to do exceeding abundantly. He said, I can do above all that you can actually think. But he says, according to the power that worketh in you. Somebody ought to come in on the screen. God can do anything. Come on, I want you to come at that. God can do anything. He can do anything. Hallelujah. He'll never fail. Hallelujah. He'll never fail. This is what we're going to do tonight. Those of you that are watching me, we're going to go through the prayer of repentance. Because can we be honest? Many of us, we've all broken God's heart. We've all let him down. We've all been selfish at some point in our life. Selfish. Focus on our own agenda, but not kingdom minded. Focusing on people knowing Christ, making sure that his will is going in the earth. So we made sure we got the best and didn't even care about him. But yet we always pray, oh God, give me more. So what we're going to do tonight, we're going to go through the prayer of repentance. Because guess what? The Lord is soon to come. And when he cracks the sky, I don't know about you, but I want to be ready when he comes. And can I tell y'all something? I need the grace and mercy of God. I will be the first person in ministry to let you know I need the grace and mercy of God. I'm not perfect. You hear me? I'm not perfect. I need them. I need them daily. Hallelujah. Daily. Like the Bible say, like the dear prayer to, um, for the water brook. God, my soul thirsts for more of you. I need you, God. He says, only because of his grace and mercy that we're not consumed. So if you act like you're so perfect, Baby, you sin it already. Y'all better stop sitting around at them tables gossiping and talking about people. Y'all better stop leaving these church services, sitting, having lunch at restaurants, and you gossiping and talking about everybody, you know, in the church who you was just worshiping and shouting and singing with. Why? Because the way to get to heaven, the Bible says you got to love the Lord your God with all of your heart, mind, and soul, and your neighbor as yourself. I love you, my brother. Love you more, Tobias. He said, you got to love the Lord thy God with all of your heart, mind, and soul. Thank you, my sister Toya. I declare the favor of God over your life. Those of you that are so on prayer, you see, he said, you got to love the Lord your God with all of your heart, mind, and soul in your neighbor as yourself. That means I got to love you just as much as I love me. I got to look out for you just as much as I look out for me. So if I'm sitting around gossiping and talking bad because I don't like what you had on, because I'm jealous because of the favor that's on your life. God can't trust me. Because guess what the Bible says? Only the pure in heart shall see God. So get this. If we want to see God, we got to keep our hearts pure. If we want to see God, we got to keep our hearts pure. 
We can't walk in jealousy and bitterness and envy and strife and lying, being gatekeepers, trying to keep anointed people from getting on certain platforms, lying on people, trying to destroy their character and private, all because you're intimidated by the anointing that they carry. Father, we give you glory. Lying, good evening, my brother. Love you. It was good seeing you last night. Jealous of people because you don't like the favor that's on their life. So you're going to try to make them out to be a scam or a fake because you now you want to come against them. That's witchcraft, baby. That's witchcraft. Trying to turn other people against somebody. That's witchcraft. That's the spirit of control, manipulation. And if you're a victim of that, let me tell you, any leader that tells you not, don't listen to this person, don't talk to them, and that, baby, you better run from them. That's the spirit of control. I'm talking about you better get your best tennis shoes and run like Forrest Gump. Amen? Run, baby. Like that song say, run, don't look back, run, don't look back, run. So what we're going to do tonight, we're going to go through the prayer of repentance, and we're going to ask God for forgiveness. Because we all messed up daily. God, forgive us. Clean us up. I want a pure heart. Clean hands. I don't want to be jealous of my brother my sister. I don't want to talk bad about my, my, uh, my, my aunts or my uncles or my cousins. or my. You know how sometimes people see the favor in your life and you're talking bad about your own blood. And look at them. Scam artists. Oh, they fake because you're jealous. Isn't it interesting how people be cool with you as long as they're benefiting from you? But the moment they no longer benefit from you, then all of a sudden they're trying to come against you and trying to destroy your character. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? This is why the best friend that you should ever have is Jesus. Because he sticks closer than any brother. Talk to Jesus about everything. Lord, I love you. God, I need you. Father, direct me. Protect me. Lord, can I just be honest with you, God? I keep struggling in this area. These thoughts are coming to my mind. God, I don't, I don't know why, but God, I don't want to break your heart. Instead of getting on the phone gossiping and telling other people so that they can talk bad about you. Trying to find out your weakness like Samson so they can figure out where you get your strength at and try to cut you down. Stop telling everybody your business. Stop telling everybody, oh, pray for me. I need you to pray about this. P and guess this. Some of the people you asking to pray, P-R-A-Y, they P-R-E-Y-I-N-G, praying against you, hoping that you stay stuck, hoping that you stay bound. That's why the Bible says, know them that labor among you. When a person show you who they are, believe them. And you ask God, show me how to treat them accordingly. Show me how, Lord, show me how to be to this person when they begin to show you who they are. God, give me wisdom. Somebody ought to tell God, give me wisdom. Give me wisdom, Jesus. Can you just tell God that tonight? Father, give me wisdom. Give me wisdom, Lord. I need your wisdom. Give me wisdom. Hallelujah. Father, I need your wisdom. Can you just tell God that tonight? I need wisdom. I don't want to be connected to the wrong people. I don't want to be surrounded by wolves in sheep clothing. I don't want to have people that I'm connected to and I'm telling them things that I need or that I'm struggling with and then they're going behind my back and lying on me and making it more than what it really is. Send me people that are yielded to you, that love you. That's right, Patrice. Come on, send me people that love you for real, God. People that's not trying to backbite. And hate on me because they, they're intimidated by the anointing that's on your life, Patrice. Can I tell you, woman of God, I'm sure you encounter a lot of jealousy. Women that don't like you and don't personally know you. Can I just tell you that? People that don't even know you never took the time to sit and talk with you, never went out to eat with you to get to know your heart. I guarantee you, a lot of people dislike you and don't even personally know you. And can I tell you why, Patrice Dominique? It's because of what you carry. Can I tell y'all something about the anointing? People that don't even know you will not like you. And, and again, it be the people that you look up to. People that you respect. They got more than you and don't like you. Got more than you. Got the platforms, got the stages, got the connections. And don't like you because of what you carry. Because you got glory on your life. 
Somebody ought to come and I got glory. Come on, hallelujah, I got the glory of God. That's what's on your life. Come on, I got glory. I'm not in it for fame and fortune. I'm not in it for popularity. I'm not in it so that somebody can cheer me on and make me feel like I'm somebody. I'm sitting on assignment so that the captives can be set free, so that burdens can be lifted, so that broken hearts can be, can be mended back together again. You got to know this. We're on an assignment. We're on an assignment. That's why God entrusts us with the anointing that he's given us. And we should never act like it's about us. Because can I tell y'all something? There's always somebody that can do what you do a lot better than what you do. Yes, there's always somebody that can flow and do whatever you do a hundred times better than you. That's yielded. Yielded. I see people with beautiful gifts that can sing, run across the stage and jumping around and all that. But somebody could just stand flat foot and just say, Father, I give you glory. And the presence of God comes in the room. You're amazing, God. There is no one like you. No one greater than you. And Father, I give you glory. I give you glory and honor, Jesus. You're worthy of honor. Somebody ought to tell God that tonight. God, you're worthy of honor. If you believe that tonight, you ought to tell God, God, you're worthy of honor. You're worthy of honor, God. You're worthy of honor. You are worthy. Don't got to do all that jumping around and run across the stage, and that's what they don't like about you. You got to stay yielded. Stay yielded. The Bible says a broken and contrite spirit he will not despise. God, resist the proud. I don't care how attractive you are, that people calling you beautiful and people calling you handsome and telling you you got a nice body and you got a nice smile and oh, you just the most beautiful person I've ever seen. Don't ever get puffed up in pride. Stay broken before God. Don't you allow people to put you on a pedestal. You better recognize who the pedestal belongs to. The only one that sits on the throne is Jesus because I'm just a vessel that he's using. For his glory. Come on. I'm just a vessel. I ain't worthy. I'm not worthy to travel blessing people, to help people, to buy people cars. I'm not worthy. That's why nothing that comes in belongs to me. I don't even get paid for ministry. That's why when money be coming in, y'all see me giving it out. I don't get paid for what I do. I'm just a vessel that God trusts us to do his will in the earth. And when God sees that he can trust you, there's no limit to what he will do in your life. Make it about Jesus. And watch how he take the limits off of you. Watch how he put you in arenas that you're like, wait, hold on, how did this happen? Put you in rooms. Where you're around people, you speaking life into people that you, you've looked up to. Thank you, man of God, we receive your tithe and offering. Your name starts with a T. I decree and I declare open heaven over your life, my brother. I bind every sickness, every disease, every infirmity. I rebuke and bind every attack of the enemy. And even as you release your 10% of tithe and offering into this soil, I call for open doors. That God will open doors for you musically and whatever your heart desires. He said your gift will make room for you, my brother. And I declare that the gifts that God has placed inside of you, I see you got a guitar on your profile picture. I pray that God causes your gifts to make room for you because you tithe into this soil. So may he open up the windows of heaven and pour out blessing that you have not room enough to receive. And we declare that the curse is destroyed tonight. In Jesus' name, he got to rebuke the divine for your name's sake. Thank you, my brother, for your obedience to the Holy Spirit. So what we're going to do tonight, amen, I declare favor is on you, man of God. Your name, we got the same word. Your, um, your name starts with an E. I see you over here. You say, I just so need this word. I declare the favor of God over your life. Amen. I see you, God, that are so What we're going to do, we're going to go through the prayer of repentance. So we want to make sure that if the Lord cracked the sky, we all get to make it in. Amen. Somebody say you need a prayer line, baby. No, I don't. You you know the weight. Do you know the do you know the war that comes with having a prayer line? Woo. Not my own. Not me to me. If anything, hire you know hire other people to do that. If you knew the war the war that it takes to, to pray and intercede for people, do you know what intercession is? To those of you that are saying I need a prayer line, do you know what intercession is? What does it mean to intercede for somebody? 
So that means when you stand in the gap with somebody, that means whatever they're going through, you pull them out of the situation and now you place yourself in it. So guess who getting hit with the dogs? Guess who dealing with the attacks? Guess who got to deal with the blows? That person you asking to intercede for you as you just say, all right, thank you, God bless you. You don't even sow a seed into them. Now they finish interceding, praying for you, and they drain. Ooh, Jesus. Let me tell you, last night, after leaving the One Hallelujah concert with Pastor Tasha Cobbs Leonard and Jacqueline Carr and Jonathan McReynolds and Erica Campbell, I was so drained, y'all. I was so drained because I was warring in the spirit. I was sitting in front of witches. So they came on assignment to suffocate the atmosphere of worship. They want to make they want to make it where breakthrough don't happen in the room, where healing doesn't take place, where deliverance didn't take place. There were witches sitting on assignment. Sitting on assignment. And God had me knocking down their darts. That's why before, thank you, woman of God, we received a seat. That's on, on Zell. That's why when um, Ja'Kayla Carr um, messaged me right before I came on the line, she messaged me and she told me, thank you for praying for me. I said, now that caught me off guard because last night I was so drained because nobody knows the weight that ministry is. Times I get off of this live about the praying, only thing I can do is just, whoo, Jesus, lay down. Lay flat on my face and pray. It's real. You're warned. As I'm ministering, I'm warned in the spirit because everybody here is not here for Jesus. There are people that are here because they don't want the word to be released. So right before I went live, um, Ja'Kayla called. She said, thank you for praying for me. And I said, how you know I was praying for you? She said, I felt it. It was revealed to me. God revealed it to me that you were praying for me. Wow, man of God, you got the Holy Ghost, bro. Do you know that when I saw you in the lobby last night, I got chills thinking about it. Remember when I saw you in the lobby, man, I'm getting chills. When I saw you in the lobby at the concert last night and you were sitting in the lobby area and you said you was praying. Remember what I said when I saw you? Bro, right after I saw you, I went and sat in front of witches and warlocks. It's like God sat me right in front of them. That's why I don't normally go to concerts and all that. Usually when I go places, God send me on assignment. And get this, he put me right next to the witches all the time. When I went to the Donna, the Donna Lawrence thing, the house sweet the sound, he had me sitting right next to the witches. Can I tell you something, bro? And, my, and remember the bodyguard that was with me, the guy that's, that's my bodyguard that travels with me. So even he noticed it. So while we were in the event, now he from the streets, you know, he, cause he do bodyguard for, you know, for celebrities and stuff like that. And for, you know, high clientele people. So he, he's from the streets. He's, you know, so he, he said, bro, he said the power of God was so strong on you all over us. They couldn't do nothing. Bro, when we got on the aisle, the, with the ladies are like this. This is why y'all got to pay attention to facial expressions. Pay attention to who really praising and worshiping God for real. They was like, Acting like they was clapping and, and doing things like that. One of the ladies started doing something with her hands behind her back. When I tell you the Holy Spirit, I said, Riyano, Riyabasoto, Mandalabasso, witches. Them ladies said. I'm talking about, bro, my, the bodyguard that was with me watched them glue themselves to the chair. And all three, like, and I said it, witches and warlocks. I turned to them and said it, and they sat in their chairs like this. But at first they was up and like doing certain hand movement. Man, let me tell y'all, pay attention to the hand movements, the gestures that people do. They acting like they're worshiping, but they're not really worshiping Jesus. And Father, we love you. You're amazing, God. There is no one like you, Jesus. There are people that are sent on assignment to suffocate the atmosphere of worship. This is why when you're having conferences, I know you get your musicians and you pay your musicians and you pay your um, the worship team and you got everybody there on saying and stuff, but get you some intercessors. Get you some people that's sharp in the spirit that can recognize what's going on in the atmosphere. I remember some witches called themselves booking me for a conference. This was some years ago. They booked me to lead praise and worship. And they thought that they was going to try to reel me in with their clicks. 
Can I tell you? Somebody ought to come and I'm different. I'm different. Come on. The Bible says I'm peculiar. Set apart. I can't blend in with everybody. I can't. This is why most leaders won't try to connect with you. They already know that they won't even stand a chance because God is going to reveal to you who they really are. Come on. That's right. You're different, Miss Olivia. That's right. Come on, Miss Janae. Come on, you're different. That's right, Miss Maisha. That's right, Miss Danielle on Facebook. Come on, you're different. These witches booked me. And now the conference was at the hotel where they booked me to stay at. That's right, no matter how hard they try. Can I tell y'all that whole time I was worn in the spirit? Couldn't sleep. Couldn't eat. They invited me to come eat. No, I couldn't eat. I ordered on DoorDash. Literally, I had specific instructions. Don't eat nothing that they offer you. Now, sometimes you go on a ministry assignment. Oh, we got food prepared for you. We got food. You know, we're going to feed you good afterwards. Uh uh, don't eat from everybody. No. Because some of them sitting on assignment to try to block you in the spirit. Remember, this lady gave me a plate of food. I prayed over the food, and the food turned to flies right before my eyes. I prayed over it, and I began to bind witchcraft, voodoo, divination, sorcery, and literally flies started forming all over the food. Oh my gosh, did she offer you a cookie? You said the one next to you offered me food twice. Rhea, are you on here, Rhea? Because somebody offered Rhea a cookie last night. Lord, hold on, let me call Rhea. She got to hear that. What did she offer you last night? Thank you, Lord. I, wow, Rhea got to hear this. Thank you, Lord, because somebody offered Rhea food at the concert last night. Wow. I'm telling you, the witches, they were all in there. They were in there, but I was on assignment. Rhea, do you hear what the gentleman said on Instagram? He said somebody offered him food last night. Wow. Same thing happened to her. Wow. What, what did they offer you? Can you hear me, Rhea? What did you say? I said, what was it that the lady offered you? Popcorn. He said, oh, she, he, I thought you said cookies too. Um, King Coral said it was popcorn. Last night. Yeah, last night. What'd you say? She offered me a cookie. Uh, she said the lady last night offered her a cookie. He said somebody offered him popcorn and a sandwich. And he said I had to walk out to pray. Remember to pray. You forgot to spell it P R A Y, bro. P R A Y. Um, Rhea, he said hi. Remember the gentleman? Oh, no, you was with, you weren't with me. It was the bodyguard that was with me when I saw him in the lobby. But I saw him praying. He was outside of the concert praying and I walked up to him and I was just led to put money in his hand. Didn't even know. I was just led to sow into his life. And he was like, I was just, I said, what's going on, bro? He said, well, I'm just out here praying. And I just said, stay yielded to God and kept going, kept going. Cause I, I want to sow into people that got a prayer life. That's the ones you want to sow into. Those that got access to God, those that recognize that we should pray in season and out of season. He was in the lobby praying, sit down. And I walked up to him, I was like, what's going on, bro? He said, I'm just out here praying. Boy, that touched my heart to know that there are people that are sensitive to the spirit to recognize that something ain't right in the atmosphere. No, no, we bind the plans of the enemy. And I'm telling you, God set me right. All right, Ray, we'll talk to you later. All right, I'll see you. All right, all right, I'll see you. Yeah, he set me right in front of the witches, right in front of them. And they was up. Doing they look at one lady, light skinned lady, acting like she, you know, into it and just looking around, you know, but doing something, had her hands like this with something in her hands. Can I tell y'all, when the presence of God comes in the room, I'm a whole nother person. Can I tell you, it's like a militant anointing comes on me. It's his mantle that I can't even, like, I can't even explain that comes over me. See, y'all see me get the quickness. You see me, Riano! like, but I'm talking about when it's like this mantle just dropped down from heaven on me. Like, boom. And just sometimes it'd be like, I'd be shooting stuff down in the spirit. Like the time I went to the house, sweet the sound, the Donald Lawrence, there was, I sat next to the witches. And God had me walk in the flow. And I remember there was one point he had me go, so pop, pop. Like I was like shooting the money dark side of the spirit. Literally, them ladies was glued to their chair too at that concert. Couldn't do nothing. Looking. But I watched when my friend got up the same. The lady took her hand and did like this. 
Like if she was grabbing something from her. And my friend told me when she got up there, she felt like her voice had left her, like she couldn't breathe at first. I watched the lady do like this, grab with her hand, and the other lady that was with her started pushing down. Like she's pushing something down. Well, why did they do that? When I tell you that militant anointing came in, I'm telling you, and I went to walk in the house, and I went to walk in the house. I'm talking about walking the house, praying in the Holy Ghost. Everywhere Holy Spirit lead me, shooting down stuff in the spirit realm, going places, like literally walking out. She said, it was like at first she couldn't even say, she said, but then she felt like her strength. And I'm talking about, the, and then she ended up winning the competition. Wanted. Get you some friends that's going to pray for you. That's going to intercede for you. That's connected to heaven. That's what you want. You want friends that's connected to Jesus. Stop hanging around all these people that's jealous of what you got. That's jealous of the gift, the anointing that's on your life. That's jealous of the favor that's on your life. Get you some friends that believe in you. That want to see you excel. That's not going behind your back telling other people, don't connect with her. Don't connect with him. He doing it for opportunity. She doing it for back. If I'm doing it for opportunity, how in the world? If a person is able to bless you the way that God is using us, what make you think we need somebody for an opportunity? If anything, we're the one that's being a blessing them. So how do we need them for an opportunity when God is using us to sow thousands into them? Make it make sense. What are, how, how are we benefiting from them when God is already blessing his ministry? Because it's not my ministry. This is God's ministry. So if God is already showing you that a stamp of approval on it. What difference is some public figure or somebody else going to make when God is already moving in the ministry? And people trying to put, oh, well, I ain't letting my followers. I'm not going to prove the request. And I not, bro, you ain't blocking none. If anything, God going to use us to, to increase your, your own ministry and stuff because those that are following you will, will probably start sowing it to you. Being a blessing to your life. Some of them be like, oh, you, they just want to be on my platform. They just want better. We don't need it. This is God ministry. It's real. There are people that don't look. There are people, she said, why are you trying to tell me something? It's real, Patrice. People that be jealous, I ain't got to let my followers hear you saying, I don't want you being on my page because they're intimidated by what you carry. It's what's inside of you. So they hear something different. Oh, I can't let my followers get this. First of all, I don't have followers. I got brothers and sisters in Christ. None of y'all are my followers. You're my brothers. You're my sisters in Christ. If you've accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, we're brothers and sisters in Christ. That's what we are. Amen. You're not my, I'm not up here. There's no big eyes and no little U's. We're one body with many members. Amen. This ain't my platform. This ain't my Facebook. This ain't my YouTube. This ain't my TikTok. This ain't my Instagram. These are God, this God pages. I'm just a vessel that he's using to carry out his glory here in the earth till he returns. To, to take us with him. Amen. That's right. We're the church. One body with many members. And you got people trying to protect a platform. Well, I, I can't let my father. And this is why God, this is why many of them are broke. Dealing with a tax in their health because they're not kingdom minded. God said, I can't even trust you with millions of followers and stuff because you're going to make it about you. And I'm trying to make it about the kingdom. One body with many members. Open the door for your brother and sister. Open the door for your brother and sister. Don't make it all about you. People be like, oh, you let all these different singers come on you absolutely right because we're one body with many members and they can sing circles around me. Guess what? I'm not intimidated by nobody anointed. I want to see everybody get blessed. And when you become kingdom minded and recognize that it's all for the glory of God and it's not about me trying to be famous or you trying to be famous or us trying to be popular and all oh, my followers are my, these are my connections. God can't trust you with greater because it's all about Jesus. It's not about me. It's not about you. That's right. That's I doubt you. You're right, woman of God. You're idolizing yourself. Oh, I can't let my followers know. And I'm talking about there be people that you sow thousands into that won't even say thank you. Won't even say thank you. And let me tell y'all something. Do y'all not think the people that's connected to the ministry don't see what's going on? There are people that literally that, that support the ministry that inbox me and say, do you see how you just sold thousands into him and he didn't even say thank you on his page or he didn't even accept the request or nothing? I said, it's okay. It's okay. 
Because God can trust us. That's why God is moving through us like this. Because we're not selfish. We're not arrogant. We're not making it about us. But we're putting all our brothers and sisters on. We let everybody gift make room for them. We're not making it about us. Like if the people only came on to hear us, like they only came on to see us, it's all about Jesus. And there's people that we've given thousands to in there. And those that so they notice. They text me, they message, Pastor, did you see how that joke ain't even say thank you? I'll be like, it's okay. It's okay. And this is why many of them, their ministries are at a standstill. They're not seeing the abundance of God because God can't trust them with greater. Because they're making it about them and not about the kingdom. Hallelujah. We got to make sure that God, Jesus is the only one getting the glory out of what we're doing. Amen. So we're going to go through the prayer of repentance. Every believer repeat after me. We're going to make sure that we ask God for forgiveness tonight. Amen. Because we want to make sure that if the Lord was a crack the sky tonight, that we all get to make it in. Amen. So every believer, I want you to repeat after me. Why aren't people gifting? Instead, they gift worldly streamers, but barely God's children. It's okay, my brother. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for pointing that out. Because And listen, he said, why aren't people gifting? Instead, they give the word. It's okay, my brother, because God, listen, we got a reward that's not made by men's hands. Amen. He says, throw up the treasure in heaven where thief no mark and breaking the stick. So it's okay. They don't send no gift. God got great things in store for our life. Amen. Because you're right. There's a lot of secular people that go live on TikTok. And I'm talking about people be giving them hats. They get mustache. They get, I'm talking about the whole time they own and they talking foolishness. One guy goes on and make a mockery of Jesus. Got a wig on his head. Got a picture of a fake Jesus. We know that ain't Jesus. Got a fake picture with the fake Jesus in the background and making a mockery of Jesus on TikTok. And the whole time he lied, people giving him big old lions, whales. They giving him gifts that cost $100, $200 gifts. Amen. The whole time. But he's trying to make a mockery of God. Amen. But God has something for us even greater. Because we don't store up our churches here where thief and moth can try to break in and steal. Amen. Hallelujah. We don't store up our treasures here where thief nor moth can try to break in and steal. But we already know where our real treasures is. Our real treasures in heaven. Amen. It's really in heaven. Now, the stuff that he give us here, yes, he's going to bless us here on this earth. Yes, he's going to increase us, enlarge our territory so that we can continue to expand the kingdom in the earth before he comes. But we know where our real treasures are. Somebody ought to come and I got treasures in heaven. Come on, you ought to come at that tonight. So I'm not moved by who don't support. I'm not moved by who don't like me. Because our real reward is in heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. That's where we store our treasures. Hallelujah. Thank God for heaven that we're living to live again. Amen. This earth ain't our home. Amen. Hallelujah. We're living to live again. Amen. Thank you so much, my sister. I see you um, as you release the, the seed for repentance. Father, I just pray that you continue to increase my dear sister hunger for you. God, as she's releasing this repentance seed, like just saying a sacrificial seed, saying, God, I'm sorry. And God, even in the Bible, how Job released a sacrifice for each one of his children. Father, as this woman of God is showing you, God, I love you. Father, I ask that you multiply her seed for someone. That even as she sowed on earth, that she got treasures being stored for her in heaven. And God, while she's here on earth, I pray that you multiply her seed for someone. God, do it now. Give her back even greater. Open up greater doors for her. Cause her gift to make room for her, God. And bring her before great men. And I pray that you give her peace. That's what I hear for you. I declare the peace of God to you, my sister. That God will surround you with peace. As a shield. And that he silence the voices of the enemy. We bind every assignment of the enemy that will try to come against your peace. And I declare the peace of God over you and over your family. Amen, my sister. Amen, Patrice, in Jesus' name. Amen. So we're going to go through the prayer of um, repentance. Every believer, repeat after me, okay? Heavenly Father, I just want to say thank you. God, I thank you for your grace and your mercy. Thank you for loving me. I thank you for not giving up on me. Now, Father, it is written that if I will confess my sins, that you're faithful and you're just enough to forgive me and to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. God, I confess, Father, I've seen it. I've done things that are not pleasing unto you. And I ask, Father, that you will please forgive me. 
Father, I repent. Lord, please create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Everybody say amen. And I want to say this. No matter how many years you've been saved, don't ever stop repenting. The Bible said a just man falls seven times, but he get back up again. Baby, every day we make mistakes. Even in our thoughts. So a man think and so is he. Even to think about wanting to knock somebody down, you see him. Even to want to think about having sex with somebody sin. So daily we should ask God for forgiveness. Amen. Can I tell y'all, even as the pastor, listen, I need the grace and mercy of God. And any pastor that come before you and they act like they're perfect, they don't need no grace and they do everything right, you better run. I don't want to be connected to a perfect leader. I don't want to be connected to somebody that think that they just so perfect. Because then you're going to be too busy pointing the finger at me, being judgmental. What did he say? He that is without sin cast the first stone. Nobody could stone her. Don't throw no stones at nobody. Because them same stones that you're throwing up, somebody may pick it up and throw it right back at you. We all need the grace and mercy of God. Amen. So if you're watching me today and you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to invite you tonight. Make Jesus your Lord and Savior. Can I tell you something? It will be the best decision you could have ever made. And if you're involved in gangs and cliques and occultic stuff, come out of that stuff. Because hell is real. And the devil is not your friend. You know what the Bible say? He comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But get this. Jesus has come that we will have life and life more abundantly. Can I tell y'all, it is the will of God that we live an abundant life. So when people say, oh, you're a prosperity preacher. Oh, you're prosperity, peace and prosperity gospel. I ain't finna say that it's not. The devil is a liar. God wants me to prosper. This ain't no broke gospel. This ain't no, no burdensome, self, um, depressing gospel. This ain't no sick gospel. He want us healed. By his stripes, we are healed. He wish above all that we prosper and be in good health, even as our soul prosper. So when they call the prosperity gospel, say, thank you. God wants me to prosper. Amen. He wants me to prosper. So when they be saying that, listen, it is the will of God. He don't want you anointed and broke. He don't want you anointed and sick. He don't want you anointed and stagnant and stuck and depressed. The devil is a liar. Amen. He said, I give you peace that surpasses all understanding. God don't want you anointed and, 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 and uh, your thoughts all over the place. and you, you don't know whether you're going or coming. No. He give me a sound mind. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to say, I got a sound mind. I want you to declare that. I got a sound mind. Thank you, woman of God. We receive your seed. You says, God, heal my body. And that's why she said, God, I have a sound mind. Amen. Father, I thank you for the seed. Even as the one of God said, God, heal my body. I declare total healing to her. I bind every infirmity. And I place her seed before the courts of heaven. God, I speak peace to her mind and healing to her. From the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. God, receive her sacrifice tonight. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you, woman of God. Your name starts with a W, so you know I'm talking to. So we're, we're going to go through the prayer of salvation. And I want to say this. If you're involved in gangs and cliques, come out of that stuff. Because hell is real, bro. Can I tell you why you're involved in a gang or why you're involved in occulted stuff? Can I just tell you right now? Because you're hurting. You're hurting. Can I just tell you something? Only hurt people hurt people. So because you're hurting, you're miserable, you went through a lot of stuff in life, you want to try to live life hurting other people, trying to rob other people of their peace, trying to rob other people of their joy. You're hurting, you're miserable. There's an old saying that they would say, misery loves company. And you think, hey amen, thank you, those of you that are sowing your seed, I decree and I declare the favor of God of your life. If you just came in, we're giving a sacrificial seed of $100. If you don't have it, you give what you can. And if God tells you to give more, you give more. But we're naming our seed tonight, God favor me. We're naming it, God favor me. Amen, thank you, amen. So um, Venezuela, amen, God bless you. But so anyhow, look, so here it is. Why you think you're involved in gangs and the cults? Can I tell y'all something about witches and stuff? While you taking money to a witch and you telling her to do something to hurt somebody else, do you know that that same witch, that same psychic, Obia worker, is binding you to them? Yes. They're binding you to them. Amen? They're literally, so because you're releasing a sacrificial seed, 
How would I give? The ways to give it in the bio. If you want to get the cash out, it's in the bio. It's right here. So while you're releasing money to them to block somebody in the spirit realm, guess what they're doing to you? Blocking and buying to you. You think, first of all, that person is miserable. They're miserable. So they frustrated. They done been hurt. They done been dead wrong. So this is how they live their life, trying to hurt other people. And you think that they're not going to try to hurt you while you're giving them money. They don't care about you. They're not your friend. And they, they act like they're so happy to hear from me. Hey, oh, my friend. Oh, oh, baby. What's going on, baby? Oh, good to see you, baby. I was waiting on you to come by, baby. And you thinking that they're your friend. Oh, what can I do for you today, girl? What, what do you want, baby? My friend. My friend. What do you want, my friend? Smiling in your face like they for you. And the whole while, while you giving them money so that somebody else can be stuck or somebody else can lose their stuff, they binding you to them. And, and listen, and this is why every time you get money, you run into them. I need to read it. I need to read it. I need direction. I, I, I need protection. I need you to make me a bath. I need, I need you to give me direction. I, I don't know what, what's going on. But get this. If you could give money to a witch, and things can shift in the spirit realm. Imagine what happens when you give it to Jesus. Uh-oh. If things can shift from you releasing a sacrifice to a witch, a warlock, or over your worker, imagine the shift that takes place when you give it to God. Because can I tell you something? There is no witch more powerful than Jesus. There is no warlock more powerful than Jesus. So here it is. That's why they don't like me. If you can release money to a witch or warlock and something can happen to somebody, imagine what your sacrifice can do when you give it to Jesus. And this is why the Bible says, my people are perishing for lack of knowledge. Because we will give God the least, but we will sacrifice thousands to the world. $100 on a haircut. Two, $300 on a new shirt. A thousand dollars on the Gucci outfit. You know, uh, thousands of dollars putting goals in your mouth. A chain that costs three thousand dollars. A bracelet that costs a thousand dollars. But you won't even sacrifice to the one that's able to stop premature death over your life. You won't even sacrifice to the one that's able to destroy the curse that's lingering over your life in the spirit. Why? Because the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood. It's a spiritual battle. Wickedness in high places. So you rather sacrifice to somebody that don't choose where you spend eternity. That ain't got now heaven or hell to put you in. You rather sacrifice to somebody that don't put breath in your body. That can't give you eyes to see. That can't give you ears to hear. Somebody that can't give you new mercies. They can't give you nothing. So if you can sow a seed to a witch and something happens. Imagine the shift that takes place when you sacrifice to God. And this is why they say, don't give to God. God don't need your money, baby. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, baby. Don't give to God. God don't need your money. Why do you think they're so adamant with telling you not to give to God? Because as you're giving to God, you're knocking down every word curse they try to release against your life. So while they're releasing sickness, you just knock it down. While they're releasing depression, you just knocked it down. While they're releasing heartbreak, you just knocked it down. While they just released loneliness, you knocked it down. Every demonic dark. Why? Because you got weight in the spirit. Everything in life is about sacrifice. You're not buying a miracle. You're sacrificing. You sacrifice to drive that car you drive. You sacrifice to live in the home that you're living in. You sacrifice to wear the clothes that you have on. You sacrifice, you know, to live whatever lifestyle you choose to live or, or how you like to be treated or what restaurants you like going to. Sweetheart, there's only one correct cash out. If you, if you don't know which one, you can send it to this one right here that I just pinned. You can send it to that one where it just went off the stream, the personal one. But yeah, but make sure you name your seat what you believe in God. Do tonight we're naming our seat, capital G, God favor me. There could be a million cash apps. There's only one correct one. Heavens with one S in impact. If it got a number at the end, that's not us. All right. Any extra letter of the character, that's not us. Any extra numbers, it's not us. Heavens with one S in impact. Name it. God favor me. And thank you, woman of God. We receive your seat. Your name start. Um, oh, thank you, my brother. And then I declare the favor of God will be your life. I bind every spirit of lack. And I pray that God will multiply your seat for so, my brother. Amen. Cordell, thank you, my brother, for your obedience to the Holy Spirit. So if a person can give money to a witch, imagine what your sacrifice can do when you give it to God. And this is why they don't want us tithing. This is why they don't want us sowing. 
Because they really don't want to tell you. You stopping my curses from working against you. You stopping me from you stop me from releasing divorce against your life. Here it is. I'm I'm chanting, I'm sacrificing to keep you get blocked, to make you get blocked in the spirit, but it's not working. Because you got weight in the spirit. If there was no sacrifice, there would be no forgiveness of sins. So if God had to give his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. What makes you think we're not supposed to sacrifice? Thank you, woman of God. Your name start with a J. I decree and I declare the favor of God of your life that God will continue to multiply your seed for sowing in Jesus' name. So if God gave, why are we so selfish to think that we're not supposed to give? Perishing for lack of knowledge. For lack of knowledge. Because you got the devil think, I think you're really good. Uh, I think you're really good, Pastor. Sweetheart, I don't know what you say, but I bind the spirit of premature death and you block in Jesus' name. She told me, I think you're a really good pastor. P-A-S-S-E-R. I ain't passing. I bind every spirit of death, hell, the grave, and send it back to the pits of hell. Amen. I, and I don't think, I know you good and block. Amen. Hallelujah. Just being a distraction. Y'all better pay attention to the words when people speak to you. Don't let it, when they spell words, prophet, P-R-O-F-I-T. Come on. They know what they're doing. Oh, you're a prophet, P-R-O-F-I-T. No, no, I'm not. First of all, I never even told you I'm a prophet. My name is Cornelius. That's who I am. Y'all better pay attention. Don't let nobody call you or don't answer to anything that you're not. You better know who you are in the spirit. And there are people that try to release word curses over your life without you knowing. No, we bind every word curse. We bind and rebuke them. We render them null and void and send them right back to the pits of hell and out of darkness from which it came. And we declare deliverance to your soul that you will surrender and submit to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. We don't want you to die in your sins. We want you to get delivered in Jesus' name. Amen. Because he said, bless those who curse you. Pray for those who despitefully use you. You hear me? That's what he said. In doing so, you heap coals of fire on their head. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Blessing that curse you. We don't want you to die in your sins. We want you to get delivered. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So what we're going to do tonight, we're going to go through the prayer of salvation. Thank you, woman of God. Your name starts with M. But listen, sweetheart, you forgot to name your seed. We named it God Favor Me. You gave through Zell, but you forgot to name it. Your name starts with an M. But Father, even as she released this seed, we bind every assignment of the enemy. And we send it back to the pits of hell. And we call for the favor of God. That our motives be pure. If it's pure, God, we ask that you multiply her seed for some. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, one of God. I declare the favor of God over your food business. Your name starts with an M. I know you sell like crabs and stuff like that. Um, your name starts with an M. See, that's how y'all know I pray over everything. Because I know you sell food from a food truck. You have like crabs and stuff like that. Garlic crab and I think wings or something. But Father, I just thank you for the woman of God. And she said, God, favor me. I decree and I declare the favor of God over her life. God, multiply her seed for someone. Do it now in the name of Jesus. I even thank you for the seed that came from, um, your name starts with an end. You say, Jesus is Lord. Father, even as she just gave, just or he just gave, just declare that you're Lord. Father, show him that you're Lord of his life. Continue to increase him. Enlarge his territory. Continue to make him a kingdom funder because he's not being selfish with giving to you. God, do it now in the name of Jesus. And Father, we say thank you. We love you. We honor you in the name of Jesus. So what we're going to do, amen, we're going to go through the prayer of, um, of salvation. Everybody that's watching me today, amen, thank you, um, thank you, Lord, um, your um, city cocktails, amen, your name starts with an L. Father, even as a man of God has released the seed of faith, God, we bind every assignment of the enemy. God, teach them the importance of being a tither. Lord, as they begin to put you first, I pray that you begin to rebuke the devourer for their name's sake. Draw their heart closer to you. Increase their hunger and thirst for more of you. In Jesus' name. Amen. So listen, what we're going to do, we're going to go through the prayer of salvation. And I want to say this. If you've accepted Jesus Christ years ago when you was a kid, do it again. Do it again. All right? Do it again. There's no harm in doing it again. Always the pages that don't follow this asking for prayer because they're being a distraction. Amen. But so what we're going to do is we're going to go through the, we don't ask for favor. We're declaring favor. He said, if you decree a thing, it shall be established. So when we're sowing, we're declaring, God, favor me. God, favor me. He said, whatsoever you sow. We just look, Genesis 8 and 22, seed time harvest. One of the reasons why people not experiencing harvest, because they don't give seed. 
We don't mind giving to the restaurant. We don't mind giving to the bars, to the clubs, to the weed men, to the drug men, to the liquor store. But when it comes to God, well, I got to give God something. Well, why he got to give you healing? Why he got to give you breakthrough? Why he got to enlarge your territory? Why he got to increase you? He says, too much is given, much is required. That's a divine exchange, baby. God requires more as he increases you the more. Amen? Hallelujah. So, um, yeah, make sure you guys name your seat. God favor me. But if you're watching me, we want to make sure that if the Lord was a crack the sky, you know who you belong to. Come out of the games. Stop that witchcraft. You're hurting, but Jesus wants to heal you. Amen? He wants to heal you tonight. The Bible says that we can do all things through Christ which strengthens us. So let him in. Allow God to come in and strengthen you, heal you, and deliver you and set you free from that thing that you're struggling with. Amen. Father, we honor you. We give you glory, Jesus. We give you glory, Jesus. Can somebody say, we give you glory, Jesus. We give you glory, Jesus. You're amazing, God. Father, you are amazing. Father, you are amazing. You're amazing, God. We bind every heart attack. We bind every stroke, every sickness, every word curse released against the body of Christ. And we send them back to the pits of hell. We render them null and void in the name of Jesus. And God, I even thank you for the tithe that just came in from the woman of God. Your name starts with a J. God, even as she's giving you the 10% that belongs to you, Father, I declare open heaven over life that you will continue to rebuke the devourer for a namesake. Even the woman of God, your name starts with a C. And she said, God, favor me. Father, we bind the spirit of lack. We call for an increase, abundance. Favor your daughter as she puts you first. In Jesus' name. And those of you, if you have not accepted Jesus Christ, is your profile picture make room? Yes, it says make room for what you've been praying for because it's on the way. Amen. It's, amen. Yes, sir, that's the right one. Amen. So we're going to go through the prayer of, um, thank you, Lord. We're going to go through the prayer of um, salvation tonight. So those of you that are watching tonight, make sure that you repeat after me because you want to know who you belong to. Amen. So we're going to go through the prayer of salvation. Heavenly Father, I just want to say thank you. God, I thank you for waiting on me. Thank you for not casting me away from your presence. But God, I thank you for waiting on me. Now, Father, it is written in Romans 10, verse 9, that if I will confess the Lord Jesus and believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead, I shall be saved. Father, today, April 11, 2024, I confess Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And I believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead. Therefore, all things that I've done in the past, they no longer matter because today starts a new chapter of my life. Now, Father, your word says that I shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon me. So God, I ask that you will fill me with the baptism of the Holy Ghost and with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Father, give me the power to cast out demons, to lay hands on the sick, to open the blinded eyes, to see the lame walk, to see the dumb talk. Father, I recognize that your return is so near. So I ask God that you will use me in a mighty way to snatch as many souls out of darkness into your marvelous light. Father, please get the glory out of every area of my life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Everybody say amen. Thank you, woman of God. Your name starts with an S. We receive your seed. I bind the spirit of lack. And I pray that God will activate your faith to trust him on a greater level. And I pray that as you put him first, may the favor of God begin to overtake your life. Remember, tithing stops the curse. We got to give God that 10%. Sowing just opens up the doors for the overflow, but tithing is a command. Hey, Amen. You want to see an open heaven over your life? You want to see God rebuke the devourer? Give him that 10%. And watch how he say, prove me, not the pastor, not the church. God say, prove me. He's telling you, put me to the test and see what I do for you. His word works. 
and it can't return him void. Amen. Hallelujah. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go through the prayer of protection. Now, listen, this is something that you want to do every day as well. You know, before you even leave your home, you want to make sure that you're armored up. Amen. So we want to make the Bible. Remember, the Bible said we wrestle not against flesh and blood. It's a spiritual battle, weakness in high places. So there's stuff in the spirit realm that we can't even see. So it's so important that we stay armored up. Amen. So everybody that's watching tonight, I want you to repeat after me. Heavenly Father, I just want to say thank you. God, I thank you for access to your presence. Now, Father, it is written in Ephesians 6, verse 11, to put on the whole arm of God that I will be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. So right now, Father, in the name of Jesus, I place on the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness. I gird my loins with the belt of truth. I shot my feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. I take up the shield of faith that I will be able to quench every fiery dart of the enemy and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God. Therefore, I am fully armored and no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against me shall be condemned. In the name of Jesus, I renounce and I denounce every covenant that I made with the enemy, knowingly and unknowingly. I divorce myself from every spirit wife and every spirit husband. I cut off every soul tie between me and every person that I've ever been sexually involved with. Father, please forgive me for my foolishness, for my disobedience, and keep me close to you. God, keep me sharp in the spirit, alert. We bind the spirit of premature death. Come on, say it. I bind the spirit of premature death, sickness, disease, infirmity, delay, and I send you back to the pits of hell from which you came in the name of Jesus. And I declare that I shall live and not die to declare the works of the Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Everybody say amen. Hallelujah. Everybody say amen. Now this is what um now this is what we're going to do. The Bible says that the angels in heaven are rejoicing right now because of the soul that just gave their life to Christ tonight. So this is what we're going to do. Every believer, come on, let's hit the hearts. Let's show some love to those who just accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. And I want you to come in on the stream. Welcome to the family. Amen. Welcome to the family. Hallelujah. I want you to come in. Welcome to the family. Hallelujah. This is what it's all about, y'all. We are one body with many members. Hallelujah. One body with many members. Father, we love you. We love you, Jesus. Adore you, Jesus. You're amazing, God. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to say this to those of you that just accepted Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. Welcome to the family. Welcome to eternal life. That means that the Lord was a crack the sky tonight. Thank you, TikTok, for 67 or with 68,000 um, hearts. That means if the Lord was a crack the sky tonight, if he was to ask you, why should I let you in heaven? You know what your response should be? Because I've accepted you, Jesus, as my Lord and Savior. Not because I feed the homeless, not because I help those that are need, not because, you know, I, I get it right, because we all make mistakes. Can I tell you something tonight? Jesus Christ is the only way to the Father. There's no other way. I know we're living in time, they want to tell you energy and all that and stuff. The devil is alive. Christ is the only way. Amen. Hallelujah. He's the only way. Only way. Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the only way. He's the only way. Hallelujah. Can somebody just come in that Jesus is the only way? He's the only way. Hallelujah. I'm so glad that I have a Savior that's alive and well. Hallelujah. That he responds. The Bible says that when the righteous cry out, he delivers. We serve a delivering God. 
You just don't know how much this helped me, Pastor. Thank you so much. You're welcome, my brother. To God be the glory. He's a delivering God, healing God, a keeping God. Father, I thank you for the seed that just came from the man of God. Your name started with an M. I bind the spirit of lack. And God, even as he released this seed saying, God, favor me, I declare the favor of God over his life. I ask God that you even work, God, in his confidence. Continue to mold him and to make him into the man of God that you call him to be. Get the glory out of his life. And that he will step into what you call him with boldness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, man of God, for your obedience. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So one of the things that I like to do well, I, I say it on the phone because I want to say it over and over and over and over. Father, you're worthy. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hello? Good evening, Pastor. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing this evening? I'm doing amazing. Is this Pastor? Yeah. Yes, this is me. This is me. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things that we do every time we go live, I always pick a different person to sow into. And one of the things that God has taught me about the power of sacrifice, he said one of the reasons why the body of Christ is so stuck because they don't believe in sowing. He said, mm. yeah. So in the Bible said Genesis 8, verse number 22, he said, as long as the earth remains, he said, while the earth remains of seed time, harvest, cold, heat, summer, winter, day and night shall not cease. So it's a lot of people saying, oh, I'm waiting on my harvest, but you can't expect the harvest from where you've never planted. So they don't have seed in the ground. You know, and, and guess, guess, guess what else God taught me, woman of God? He said, Cornelius, how do you think witchcraft starts? He said, it all starts from a sacrifice. He said, so if somebody can release a large amount of money to block somebody in the spirit realm, he said, imagine what their obedience can do in tithing and sowing, releasing sacrifice unto me. Jesus, Jesus. He said, you look in the Bible, every time they came before me, they had something to sacrifice. He said, only in today's world, they always got their hands out. Oh, God, I'm believing you. Oh, give me increase. Give me overflow. Oh, God, open doors. But I've already told them, give, and it shall be given. He said, one of the things about witches and warlocks, they recognize the power of giving. So they would give so that a person gets sick. They would give so that a person lose their business. They would give so that somebody get a divorce. But we too busy trying to keep Neiman Marcus open and Saks Fifth and all these other things. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world? God is giving you that seed to sow your way out of stuff. He said he gives seed to the sower. What does a sower do? A sower sows. So there's some things that you got to do more than pray, baby. You got to put a demand in the spirit realm. You want to break the spirit of poverty, you got to release a sacrifice. Wow. You can't pray that away. And there's so many broke believers always in the line. Oh, pray that God give me a financial miracle, baby. Put a demand in the spirit. He said, whatsoever you sow. So what are you sowing? What are you sowing? But they always say, give me overflow, God. I need increase. No, God said faith without works is dead. Now unto him who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you can actually think. But he said, it's according to the power that worketh in you. Yes. So when we be telling God, oh, uh, I don't mind waiting. No, God said, I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on you. So I'm telling so sewing has shipped everything in my life, woman of God. My health, everything. It's even made the wrong people leave my life. Sewing has caused my enemies to be exposed. Wow. Can I tell you one time I sold a seed, I was over in the islands. And I was connected to a guy that was a warlock, but he was acting like he was my friend. And so I was over in the islands, and you know, um, this guy had just finished praying with me. I felt like I was inside of a demonic web. So he grabbed my hand, um, uh, April, uh, woman of God. Well, I wish you tired because I, I want to make sure I'll be respectful. I'm April. All right. Okay. April, that's right. Listen, she said, you know my name. <laughs> Amen. I'm April. Amen. Listen. So, um, so you know, some people be like, I'm apostle chief bishop of the delegated association. You know, they give all these titles. I'll be like, but do heaven respond when you speak. Amen. <laughs> listen. So here it is. Look. So, um, so he grabs my hand, April. And he starts to pray in this language because I told him there was witchcraft in the room because there was flies and stuff in the room over in the islands. He starts chanting like, I'm like speaking in this like Chinese Asian type language while he got my hand. But get what he said to me, April. He said, everywhere I step, I want you to step with me. He said, if I step to the left, I want you to step to the left. If I step to the right, I want you to step to the right. So he grabs my hand and he starts speaking in this language. And now in my mind, April, I'm, I'm, I went to warn the 
fear praying in tongues in my mind yeah. and pleading the blood of Jesus. See, the thing is what we're missing in church today, there's no more power. A lot of churches don't have the power no more, woman of God. Jesus. We need the power. Can I tell you, last night I went to the concert, one hallelujah to with Pastor Tasha Khan. Can I tell you where God sat me, woman of God? Right in front of the witches. It was witches in there on assignment. They were on assignment to suffocate the atmosphere in worship. And this is why we need intercessors in the churches. We Listen, if you're going to make sure it's musicians and everything else, we need to make sure there are people walking those floors, interceding, watching. We got bodyguards. We got people looking to protect us. But we need to see those that are protecting the spirit realm, making sure that nobody's releasing demonic darts. My God. The reason why deliverance and healing ain't breaking and breakthrough ain't happening in the ministry because we ain't got nobody recognizing the witches in the audience. That's why I don't go to every church, woman of God. When I go places, God sends me on assignment mm. to shut down stuff. Literally last night, I was getting ready to leave the concert. Me and my, um, I have like a bodyguard that travel with me, you know, just, you know, because people are crazy. We, we live in different times, although I know I'm covered and no weapon formed against me shall prosper, you know, but you see what happened at Joe Osteen Church. So it's just only right. It's using wisdom. So I have a guy, bodyguard that travels with me and stuff like that when I'm going places. And so here it is. I was getting ready to leave the event. My sister, Ray Walls from the Walls Group, she was like, um, you know, she said she was ready to go. She said, she said, here, you want these tickets? I was getting ready to leave. But I was like, you know what? I said, you know, let me go back in. Her tickets was right in the front. Let me tell y'all what witches do. They want to be right in the front so whoever's up there ministering, they can suffer. You wonder why you losing your breath. Why your throat feeling dry. Wow. Why you rehearse songs and all of a sudden it's not coming out the way that you rehearse it. Maybe there's witches in the audience. And it'd be the main one smiling in your face. Oh, I just honor the anointing on your life. Give me a hug, girl. You know you're anointed. Come out with your anointed self. And the whole while releasing word curses over you while they got their arms wrapped around. Let me tell you, yeah. I'm talking about this is why woman of God, God sat me right in front of them. And they was up at first doing stuff with their hands and fake clapping like they all into the thing, the service and stuff. Can I tell you the power of God fell on me? When Pastor, uh, Pastor Tasha Cox came, power God fell on me. And I'm talking, it's like, Riyando, I went to warring in the spirit, knocking down stuff in the spirit ring. Shut it down. When I tell you, them witches sat up, it was as if they were zombies. They couldn't move. Wow. Even the bodyguard, now he from the streets. He, you know, he works with, you know, high clientele and high, you know, like, you know, celebrity and stuff like that. But he, he come from the, the hood. But he's licensed and everything and what he do. But he even noticed, he said, man, the power of God was so strong over us. He said they couldn't do nothing. He said, I saw that. I'm talking about the woman, they were glued to the chair. And at one part, I was, I was, I said, you witches and warlocks. And look right at them. When I tell you, they sat there glued to their chair. They was looking like. Like if they trying to act like I wasn't talking to them. Like, you know, had their eyes looking like, Ooh, I hope nobody's noticing. I hope nobody's noticing. Literally. Praise God, you were there. Yes. Praise God, you were there. And can I tell you what made me feel so much better, um, April, before I got on the line tonight? Ja'Kayla and Carr messaged me, and she said, thank you for praying for me. Oh, wow. I was so drained last night after all that warring. Mm. So I asked, I said, how do you know I was praying for you? She said it was revealed to me. Wow. I was right in front of the stage, in front of the witches. She said it was revealed to me. There was warlocks in the building. I said, wow. Girl, you got the Holy Ghost. I said, you got the Holy Ghost. If you knew that, Ja'Kayla, you got the Holy Ghost. I'm like, you got the Holy Ghost. Because, I mean, I was so drained afterwards. Oh, yeah. They're drained. I'm going to tell you. People think it's a game, and these witches, they come on assignment. They don't want no healing to take place. They don't want no breakthrough. They don't want to see nobody get deliverance. That's what they're on assignment for. They don't want people to get what God is releasing in the spirit realm. And, and see, the sad thing about them, well, I'm not going to say that. No longer that. No longer will we perish for lack of knowledge. That's right. That's right. Because now we know better. We're going to sow. We're going to tithe. That's right. We gonna so we gonna time and we gonna trust God, knowing that God is always gonna have yes. somebody there to combat the hand of the enemy. Every time and he allowed them, that young lady, right, to put those tickets in your yep. hand. Yep. Yep. 
prepared to ward off what the devil thought he planned. Rail was like, I'm ready to go. And she's like, here, she's like, Pastor C, you want these tickets? At first I was like, I was getting ready to go, but sometimes, you know, God deal with us. I know some people call stuff superstition, but my left eye started jumping, like I'm saying, no, no. And I'm like, I said, well, maybe the guy that's with me need to hear something what they about to talk about. Because he from the hood, so I'm like, let me go on back in. Maybe he need to get in. He literally told me he needed that. Wow. He told me. He said, thank you for that. And he was just, yeah, he started telling me stuff about God. And yeah, he has family from the church. Mm. He was telling me about a girl that was trying to put, you know, a curse on my heart. He told his aunt and she said, that girl doing black magic. And he cut the girl off and stuff. Yeah. Because he said some of the stuff that the girl went to saying, do your grandma this and this, like the stuff she was saying. He was like, this don't sound right. Like if she's dealing with, you know, familiar spirits. Let me tell y'all, the spirit realm is real, y'all. It's just as real as the physical realm. It sure is. And that's why in the spirit, some people are literally bound in the church. You got chains around you in the spirit realm. That's why you can't keep no money. You don't tithe, you don't sow. And you wonder why every time you get money, it goes right through your hands like water because you have no weight in the spirit. And they recognize the importance of sacrifice. If you ever look inside of a voodoo shop, which I pray y'all don't go in there, it's money all at the feet of their false gods. Money, all that. See, they sacrifice money and big bottles of gin, alcohol, all at the foot of their gods. But yet, we too stingy to give the eyes the, to the true and living God, the holy God, Alpha and Omega, El Shaddai, Elohim, Adonai, Jesus Christ manifest in the flesh. But we too stingy, well, was too stingy to give to him. But these people will give their whole check to see your life be miserable. Sacrifice. Why you think concert tickets today cost a thousand dollars? The devil want to make sure that you sacrificing to come see his artist, because some of you getting payday advances to buy a concert ticket. Payday advances. Going to check cashing stores, tell them you'll pay them back because you want to make sure that you go see this concert. It's real. The devil making sure that you put a demanding spirit, and guess what? So that those demons can have legal right, legal access to your life. We don't want that. Yeah. We don't so there's some concerts you leave because you don't tithe, you got no weight in the spirit, and so now those demonic forces leave with you. There's some people that I know that went to particular, you know, artists ain't even gonna go into the name. Every single one of them got attacked financially after that. Every one of them. Because how can your sacrifice be bigger to the devil than what you give to God? Father, we give you glory. <laughs> Hello, somebody. How can your sacrifice be bigger what you give to the devil than what you offer up to God? Ain't that something? We look like Cain. We go in, some of us, we go in the presence of God. Now, if I could spend $100 on a haircut, why am I giving God any less? But we would give a beauty salon $500. You said, you preaching. We would give a restaurant two, $300. And don't even fight about the tab, woman of God. We'd be like, oh, thank you. They didn't even give them a big tip on top of that. But the God that put breath in your body. When it comes to God's house, we won't sow into that ground. But yet we want him to give us so much more. But we keep giving him the bare minimum. And the Bible says, you sow spell, you reap sparingly. So God is letting you know your harvest is going to come on the level of your sacrifice. That's why your faith should match your seed. When you're expecting God to do greater, your sacrifice should be greater. Put a demand in the spirit. Watch things shift in your favor. It works. Amen. Do you have Venmo? Because tonight we're naming our seed, God favor me. We're declaring that he's going to favor us. Amen. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Man. You say um, you have Venmo? Are you talking to me? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Venmo or PayPal I, or Zelle? I have Zelle. I have uh, Zelle, PayPal, and Cash App. Okay, let's try. Um, Let me see if my Zelle, yo, Zelle is connected to your phone number. Uh, Let me give you my email address. Okay. Okay. You can text well, can it to I... me. Yeah, text it to me. Okay. Yeah, we don't want the okay. people listening because they will email you, woman of God. <laughs> oh, they will. <laughs> Listen, okay. you got some stuff you have to see it and don't see it. I mean, somebody, I'm talking about they'll see you long. Let me tell y'all about witches and stuff. This is why y'all can't answer the phone for everybody that call you. They will. They want your ear because if they can get your ear and get you to listen to what they talking about and call you, oh, 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 do you have a minute? Oh, no, I bind the spirit of depression in the name of Jesus. I will go to praying in the Holy Ghost, shut it down and hang the phone up. 
Don't call me with that foolishness. Listen, don't call me with that. Uh -uh. I have a hard time doing that. Yeah, and they will call you because they're on assignment because they don't want you to fulfill purpose. They know you're on assignment. They want to make sure that you're no good for what God called you for because you're too busy drain trying to intercede for them. They want to make sure you ain't got no way in the spirit that you drain and that you just, you fatigue where you can't go up and do what God called you to do. Oh, can you just pray for me? And I hear this right before church. Baby, you know I'm getting ready to minister. Why are you pulling me to the side telling me I pray for you? Can you pray? Because they want to make sure you're good and drained before you go in front of the people. That you have no virtue to pour out. Oh, they know what they're doing. Because they know it's a spiritual battle. What'd you say? Where's your ministry? What, what church are you doing? Oh, we're, oh, we're Heaven's Impact. We're online. Lord, don't don't put me in no building now. <laughs> Listen, oh, okay. yeah, we are. I don't want no building. No, I don't want, no. God. I hear you. Yeah. Heaven's Impact. Is it a website? Yeah, we're online. The website is under Pastor... Um, www.corneliusedwards.com um, is the website. So we, what, we're, we're, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sow into you first. I'm going to sow my seed. And we're naming our seed God favor me. And you can sow right back and name your seed God favor me. Watch the shift that take place. Can I tell you something, woman of God? There are people that I'm telling you connected to some major ministries. And they start sowing into this soil. And they say, man of God, I don't know what you're doing in this soil. But I'm talking about immediate results. Yeah. They say, can I tell you, just because you can sow, it don't mean that the soil where you're sowing to is not fertile, but every soil ain't the same. There's some soils where you're helping that person live a certain lifestyle, but then there's some yeah. soils where everything that's coming in, they're giving it right back, blessing people, helping people. So when you yeah. always giving, 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 God has to make the return come fast to those that are sowing into it. And I'm always giving all throughout the day. Sewing, sewing. All that. If I'm at the gym, if I see people cleaning toilets, here, baby, you know, I just want to hear Jesus love you, giving people hundred dollar bills and stuff all throughout the day. Wow. wow. Sewing, and this is why the harvest be so fast that come back to people that tithe and sow here. They be like, bro, I just sold, and literally, I just got a call. The money just got released during the live while you minister. My God, today. People sow it fast. It ain't. It's no goodness of my own. It's God. Amen. Because this is what happened when you don't, yeah, no goodness of my own. It's all God. This is what happened when you don't take God, when you don't use God resources just on your own um, selfish, um, you know, to just make sure your family living life. Because can we be honest, woman, God, there's some ministries where the pastors don't help nobody. We can be honest. You got some ministries where people are on waiting lists. Can I tell you something about us? When people, do you know that we literally, those, if anybody need groceries that's connected to soil, if they faithfully tie there, can I tell you, there's times that guy had me ask all the time, do you need groceries? Mm. Oh, yes. We all know, ain't no way we're going to, I'm going to have food and you ain't got none. The devil is a liar. You better know it. Ain't you no way that I'm going to have food and you ain't got no food. My heart won't even, I wouldn't even feel right knowing that you ain't got nothing to eat in your house and you faithfully tied in here. Ain't no way. Yeah, that's the truth. Let me tell you, I fear God for real. I'm not perfect, but I fear him and I have a reverence for God. I love him and I don't want to break his heart. Amen. And I'm eating good and you faithfully tithing and then got gas in your car to get to church. Right. Devil right. is a lie. Man, please, this is why I'm talking about. If I had a physical bill, I'd be probably giving out all the money that come, that come in the offering. Come on. Listen, anybody need gas today? Now, you don't lie now, God. See? If you honestly need help putting gas, and now they start lining up, acting like they really need it, I just have somebody go, hey, every, take everybody to the, everybody that need gas, follow him with the credit card, and just go to the gas station up the street. Can I tell you what we do, woman of God? We don't, you know, we used to pass out tangible food, you know, um, to the homeless. Can I tell you, do you know what we do now? We have them sit down at the restaurant and order whatever they want off the menu, and just and just pay for the food. Yeah, that way nobody can try to. What'd you say? God has really mm -hmm. grown your ministry. I've, I've watched you since, well, you know, you used to be here, and I remember conversing with you yeah. when you were in Dallas. And then you oh, Lord, you've been knowing me a while. That's been a while. That was when I was a, um, I was in flight attendant training for American Airlines. Yes. Yep, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Wow. Way back then, Jeez. and then you moved, and you were, you, I think you were in Atlanta. No, um, you were mm hmm were you in Atlanta? I was thinking about moving to Atlanta. I never moved to it, but yeah, I was thinking about moving there. Wow. Well, where were you do where were you doing the um giving the you would go get McDonald's sandwiches? Oh yeah, that was Georgia. That was Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, Atlanta, Georgia, Fort Lauderdale, California, North Carolina. Um, oh, it was everywhere doing that. Everywhere. And I, you started real small 
Mm -hmm. and it just slowly started growing and yeah. growing and growing. And I was like, wow, like mm -hmm. that is ministry. It mm -hmm. just always, it always really struck me as great, great ministry. And I, I, I thank God for you. I thank for, thank God for your ministry. I was going out, watched you on Sunday's fast. Oh, Lord. <laughs> you were on there and how you were just great. Your social media platforms with your powerful anointed voice. Wow, thank and you. It don't look like you, I don't know if you charge for it, but it looks like you give it freely. Listen, I do. Listen, I do. I just give. I just pour out my worship to God. That's what I do. I just wow. give it to him, yeah? Like, can I tell you something, woman of God? Do you know people book me places and I get them back where they book me? People book me to pay me thousands of dollars and I give it right back to them. That's why you're so blessed. Yeah, and I sow it right back into their ministry. I say, yeah, I want to, you sow it back into you. Can I tell you something else? People, there are times people book me to go places and I cover my own travel expenses. Wow. And they don't pay for nothing. See, people, they, and I, and because I told God, I said, God, when you begin to bless, it's your ministry. So you make a way where I'm able to do what you called me to do, where I don't have to badger people for money and stuff like that. I said, God, you provide. That way I can just go flow and do what you called me to do and get out of there. Yeah. That way nobody can say, oh, well, you, we paid you for this and this man to do this. No, I'm going to do what God sent me to do and I'm going to get out of Dodge. Amen. That's why I don't want nobody to know what hotel I'm staying at. You ain't got to book my hotel room. Come on. I don't need a chauffeur. I get my own rental car. Or, you know, somebody to drive. Listen. Listen. Do you have no shirts that say I work for God? Listen. <laughs> that's, Listen. That's, they're like, you work for God for real, for real. It's funny that you just mentioned her name. I sold a seat until today, uh, today and she posted it on her stories. Um, um, yeah. A prophet of Siobhan's. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's my story. Uh, she literally, and you just said that she literally just shared the cash out on her stories today that I sent her. I'm telling y'all, I sold even when I ain't on the line. This is my life, y'all. So when people think I'm just doing this to be seen, those are just jealous people. So just ignore them. We love them, though. We pray that God deliver them. Amen. But this is my life. The Bible says, see, give seed to the sower. Sowers never lack. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just joined. I didn't know you. I'm like, oh, God, let me get on live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. Listen, I'm oh, yeah, oh, you on Facebook? Yeah, I'm on Facebook. 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 Yeah, i Come, um, come leave a comment. It say your email, your phone number not registered to Zelle. Hold on, let me see. So I got to do the email address. Let me add your yeah. email. Yeah, because it's saying the phone number not. All right. Yeah, the um, the, the um, the TikTok is Pastor C Edwards. So if you leave a comment on TikTok, we got the people follow you. Pastor C Edwards on TikTok. Let me go to it now. Thank you, Lord. It should, you should see us live, Pastor C. Edwards. Oh, here we go. Okay. You got a picture. Okay. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, we live right now, yeah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Let me read the comment. And I'll pin you up there. That way the people can come follow you. It's all about the kingdom. We in this together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. wow. One body with many members. Um, all right, let me make sure I follow you, too. All right, now you got to follow me back. I just followed you, woman of God. Hey, man, this I'm is this. All right, let me. I um, can follow. All right, let me. Did you see me? Um, okay, yeah, just popped up. This is her that's on the phone, y'all, April Nevels. Make sure y'all follow her. Hey, Amen, April Nevels. Listen, you in for a treat. The woman of God bless us tonight. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm um, in this passcode. Pastor Cornelius, it's so good. It's so good at you now. I was hearing your voice before, but now I'm able to see you on the TikTok. Yes, to God be the glory. To Amen. God be the glory. Don't you stop. You hear me? Thank you. Thank no you. matter what. No Thank matter you. what. Don't stop. Thank you. And can I tell you, it could be a lonely journey at times because people don't like when God elevates you. Very lonely journey. Amen. But God, God will never leave you or forsake you. Amen. You know, um, I have my own personal testimony, and I remember when I was going through my divorce, and mm. I was completely ostracized because we don't believe in that in church. Yeah. And um, but I was in the midst of it, and it hurt me so bad. I attempted suicide, sure. and when did God didn't allow it to block it, He didn't allow it mm. to work. And I woke up the next morning, and I said, "Why wouldn't you allow it to work?" Mm. Why did you not allow this to work? You won't bring me out of the situation, but you won't let me fix it the way I want to fix it. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. I said, everybody is gone. I don't have anybody. He said, April, I never promised you that they wouldn't leave you. All I promised you is that I would never leave you nor forsake you. And I said, well, if you stay with me, I'm going to make it through. And that was some 17 years ago. Mm -hmm. And I'm still here. And God has never left me. So you don't ever have to worry about being alone. It may feel lonely, mm -hmm. but that's it. We can't trust our feelings. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because you're never alone. And even people that you're not, you don't speak to on a daily basis, we're all connected because we're in this together, mm -hmm. building up the kingdom of God mm -hmm. and trying to be witnesses and vessels for him to use. Yes. Amen. So you're not alone. Yeah. It's because I'm, I'm like, Lord, even earlier today, I'm like, Lord, you know, because people don't like when God elevates you. They don't like when God, you know, open doors for you. You'd be surprised. People that you, I'm talking about people you'd be done sold into go behind your back. People you've given thousands to will go behind your back and lie on you. That's, that's just jealousy. And and sometimes people don't always understand. Yeah. So sometimes I like to chalk it up to that. But, um, but the thing is, I've seen... One person that tried to go against me, they attend a ministry where they give twenty thousand and ten thousand dollars at a time. But yes, but they came on my live saying, "What are we sewing for?" I'm like, "Wait, hold on." But I've seen them in videos at churches where they're giving twenty thousand. Like, why are you trying to come? We sewing a hundred dollar seed, and you trying to come against us? Wow. Yeah, literally. And it'd be people you've given thousands to. Mm. Thousands. Can I, I just think? Mm -hmm. I just think I really, a lot of it, some of it, I believe is jealousy. Mm -hmm. I think it's jealousy. And then for some, I believe it's they just, a lack of knowledge, a mm -hmm. lack of understanding, not knowing. Uh, everybody feel like they got to have all the answers. I don't have to have all the answers. When I, when I am traveling and I see somebody on the side of the road, somebody asking for food, I don't ask any questions. Mm -hmm. I keep trash in my purse so that I can give to them. My children see me, anybody in the car with me, they see me. And it's not my job to figure out if they're going to use it to go get drugs, to go get... Uh, it's not my job to do that. All I do is sow and let mm -hmm. God... I, I, the Bible says one plants, one waters, and God gives the increase so maybe i'm a planner that day or maybe i'm watering that day but i'm gonna do my job and allow god to give whatever increase or decrease if he will but i'm gonna do because i don't know if, I, if i'm the entertaining mm. angels unaware that's true i see i see two um cash apps i see heaven's impact one and, and uh, is that you no it's just heaven's impact nothing else heaven's with one s and impact no number at the end you'll see it's a it's a, a white background it's black writing that says make room for what you've been praying for because it's on the way heaven's okay. with one s then impact i um i sent you something on paypal let me know if you got it because i'm just testing it to make sure that's the right email because i tried to send to you on zelle but it's saying that email not registered or that phone number on zelle Okay, that's weird because I get sales all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I see two different heavens impacts. I see one with an S and one without an S. Yeah, it's the one with the S. It's heavens with one S. Heavens, H E A V E N S. Impact, I M P A C T. The one that don't have, um, the one that got that don't have it, those somebody else. And the ones with the numbers. And if you look, they they didn't spell it heaven. They spell one of them spelled it haven. <laughs> like okay, so they changed the letter. With an S. Yeah, heaven with an S. And Okay, got it. With an S. Heavens with one S and impact, no S at the end of impact. There we go. Oh, so they thinking your page. Oh, woman of God, these witches are mad. Oh, they Listen, when I tell you it's over 100. See how many are up here? I, I'm sure it's a lot. There's over 100 fake pages of me on Facebook. They even have your picture. Yeah, they got my picture, but that's why I don't have my picture on the ministry cash out. They mad. Let me tell you, these witches are furious. They say this God knows too much. He's teaching the people what's going to stop witchcraft. He's teaching the people what's going to bring healing the body to their body. How do we stop him? You can't Google or, or put name of the pastor that got as many fake pages as what they got to me. Because what God has me releasing in these end times is real. That is, that, that, now that might be a little scary. Yeah, but it just shows you that, that what I'm teaching is real. Hey, and for, wait, what? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I, I, got the, I see what you Yeah, I just accepted your seed that you sent to the right one. I just okay, accepted it. Cool. Yeah, tonight we're naming our seed God favor me. So I'm gonna sew back oh, into you now. But no, I'm that, sorry. you didn't I know. To name it. 
I know. Your, normally, I refund it back, but your, I know your heart is right. Because normally, I, they'll tell you I refund seeds back fast. But I know you love God for real. Some of these people be coming on here, and they be suing to try to block me. Listen, I sent it right on back. I'll be like, here, sweetheart, we don't need. Listen, let me tell you, there used to be thousands. Mm -hmm. There would be thousands of people watching me on Facebook, April. And I'm talking about they would be sewing back to back, back to back, back to back. But while they sewing, my body would be in pain. My back hurting. Limbs hurting. God favored me. No, name it God favor me. Like F-A-V-O-R. He said, whatsoever you sow, that show you. We're declaring that God is going to favor us. That he's going to open doors and, you know, send the right connections and everything. God favor me. Amen. Father, we reverence you. God favor me. Amen. God favor me. Amen. Put on my... Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Okay, so I just wanted to get that God favor me on there. Yes, thank you, Lord. Uh, God favor me in Jesus' name. Yes, so yeah, that's what we're naming our seed tonight. Can I tell you, you know how most people go to people asking people to pray for them? I've learned the key that shifts things. Oh, check your PayPal to see if you got that. I want to test it to make sure that's the right one. I learned the key that shifts yeah, things in the spirit. That's the correct one? Okay, so let me see it now. So I learned the key. Instead of just Asking people to pray for me because some people are P R E Y I N G praying against you. You ask them to pray for you and they declare that you stay stuck, hoping that you don't excel. So, what I do is I do what the Bible say. He said, Whatsoever you sow, that shall you reap. I just put a demand in the spirit. And can I tell you, the situation shifts fast. Fast. Come on, situation. Yep, fast. If I feel like I ain't got strength, God, give me strength. God, you know, God, I, I, God, give me peace. He said, give and it shall be given. If he gave his only begotten son, I'm not buying a miracle. I'm sacrificing. And if you look throughout the Bible, every time they came before God, they had a sacrifice. Abraham, you love me? Sacrifice your son. What sacrifice? Oh, uh, what'd you say? Yeah, he said, sacrifice your son. Mm. He just wanted to make sure that Abraham didn't love his son more than him. Why do you think God wants us to sacrifice money? He wants to make sure that money hasn't taken its place. And some of us, we've allowed money to become our God. Yes. That's why he say, what well, he say, the love of money is the root of all evil. Not money, the love of it. People love money so much that they will not give it. Yeah, tonight we're giving a sacrificial seed of hundred dollars. We're naming our seed God favor me. I ain't even tell you how much. Did I tell you how much we were sowing the seed for? Because you just automatically set the right number. <laughs> but we yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, because we're yeah we're sowing a sacrificial seed of a hundred, and we're naming it God favor me. You just automatically said the right number that we would I like you just knew. Wow, Amen. Look at God. God favor me. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, we yeah you just automatically said the right number. Amen. Wow. To God be the glory. One accord. I ain't even have to tell you. And see, the thing is, we everybody want the blessing of God, but we don't want to give none to God. Check your um PayPal. I just sent you a thousand dollars. See how God just gave you 10 times back to make the amount you just sent. <laughs> Check your PayPal. I just sent you back, I sent you a thousand. Pastor Cornelius, are you serious? <laughs> yes, I'm serious. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so is never lack. God gives seed to those who sow. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Your labor ain't in vain. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Your labor ain't in vain. Amen. God oh, has you on his mind. <laughs> Faithful God. God, we were sowing to you. Yeah, well, I'm sowing it to you. That's why I called you to sow into you. Amen. I want to be a blessing to you. Amen. Every time I go live, I pick it. I told God I want to be different from every other pastor. Instead of telling everybody, let's sow our seed. I want to lead by example. I'm going to sow too. Amen. I'm going to sow too. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. You know, there's that, and that's why a lot of people, they give up on ministry because they feel like all pastors want is money. But then when you got a pastor lean by example, now you say, well, we got to see all that. So you complain when you don't see the pastor blessing people. Then when you do see it, you complain. That's why I tell people, just obey God. Do it his way. Because I mean, people, we can never please him. Amen. Oh, Jesus. He's faithful, ain't he? God is putting the word. <laughs> He's so faithful. I just love him. He's faithful. He said, no good thing will he withhold from those that walk uprightly. Amen. <laughs> He's a rewarder. Amen. Of those that diligently seek him. Amen. So you could just pray over the seed that God continue to favor me and just pray that God keep me covered in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, Lord, you see your servant. Yes, Lord. My brother, 
God, you called him a long time ago. Yes, Lord. He's been on this battlefield for years and has not yes, lost Lord. faith in the face of adversity, yes, in Lord. the face of the enemy trying to stop, block his progress. But you stood up in him each and every time, each and yes. every moment, each and every venture, each and every mission yes, that you placed in his soul. Yes, God, continue to increase his faith. Yes, Lord. God, I'm asking that you increase his faith and yes. allow him to yes, just cover so much more ground. God, I'm, I'm believing for you to expand his territory. Yes, Lord. He's reaching many now through all these platforms, but you got greater. Yes, Lord. And we know yes, that Lord. you that you give seed to the sower. Yes, Lord. And that's all you ever see yes, him Lord. doing is sowing. Yes, Lord. Now when no one asks. And you, God, are a man of your word. Yes, Lord. And we know your word will hasten. You yes, will Lord. hasten your word to perform what you said. You yes, give seed. God, I'm I'm yes, believing Lord. that you will expand this seed, the seed that he's sown into my yes, life, Lord. the seed that he's sown into so many others' yes, lives, Lord. lives that we don't even know, lives yes, that he Lord. never even broadcasted. Yes, Lord. You say that, God. And Lord, we believe in you right now for favor. Yes, Lord. We're claiming favor right now in every area of his life, yes, in Lord. his health. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I claim to him complete healing from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Whenever the enemy has plotted, it is canceled right yes, now in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Amen. We speak, yes, Lord. We speak prosperity. We yes, speak Lord. We speak abundance. Yes, we Lord. speak increase and we speak expansion. Yes, expansion Lord. in ministry. Yes, Lord. God, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Take him where his eyes have never seen and his yes, ears Lord. have never heard. Show him things that he can't even comprehend and will be so grateful to your name. We're touching and agree virtually, but yes, leaving Lord. you to do these things that you have seen you would do. Yes, We're holding Lord. your word to it. And we thank you for it right now in advance yes, Lord. because you're doing it right now. In Jesus' name, we pray. Jesus, Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Oh, Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, April. Amen. I, I just, I, that was, that prayer was so sincere and genuine. I love your gratefulness. Amen. People like that, you have me sewing all night into you. I just love a grateful person. I'm talking about, ain't nothing like a grateful person. Somebody that appreciates what God allows you to do, you know, be a blessing to them. That it, 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 it hits different when somebody appreciates it, you know. Yes, because I'm telling you, there's been times we've sown thousands into people and those that, that sow and support the ministry, they be like, Pastor, you see, they didn't even tell you thank you. They didn't even say thank you from their page. And you just gave that joke a $3,000. I'm peed off. I said, no, don't be mad now. This is why God can trust us. You know, because we're, yeah. Look, listen, literally, there are people that we've given thousands You'd be surprised. We paid for numerous people, um, recorders, live recorders, over 11,000 for numerous people, more than one. What? Oh, yes. And never came back to say thank you. Look, one look, one of the person on the live now, the one that messaged me, I ain't going to even look at the platform that they on. They say thousands and stretch the word because he said, pass on Pete on. He said, that joke ain't even tell you. Thank you from his page. Yeah, he said, he said, you just sold thousands. He didn't even tell you, thank you from his page and tag in the post or nothing. Like he ungrateful. I said, bro, it's okay. This is why God can trust us because we do it unto him. You know, yeah, because that's, yeah, yeah, for sure. I said, listen, I said, that's why. Because he said, well, I'm mad, Pastor, because you gave it to him. <laughs> I said, Oh, that was, listen, you are just gonna say that you know, she said it's always good to have a Peter somewhere. Somebody say look, say what we can't say. Glory to God. That's listen, right. amen. Oh, Glory man. to God. He's so faithful, y'all. Amen. Oh. Listen, you want to bless the people this tonight. Any song in your spirit, anything you want to bless us with tonight? Oh my goodness, let me see. I, listen, all I got is thankfulness in my heart. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank Thank you, Lord. Thank you, you, Lord. Thank you. I just want to thank you, you, Lord. Hallelujah. You made yeah. a way. Hallelujah. You made so many, many, many ways. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes
Hallelujah. You made a way. And I just want to thank. I got to tell you, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Yes, he's so faithful. To God be the glory. Thank you. Thank you for your gratefulness, your humility. And I just pray that God continue to do even greater for your life. I pray, let me tell you, there's a man of God, he watching right now tonight, that's coming, the one that got mad. He, since he came on, he said, Pastor, I just keep getting bookings. Somebody else want to book me. He saw him on a live. And I just pray that this causes even more doors to open up for you. I pray that it causes people to get you to come to women's conferences, that people reach out to you, amen, and be a blessing. What, what is your, how can they book you, woman of God? Like, what's your booking email address or either a website that they can reach out to you? They can go to aprilnevels at yahoo.com. Um, my company, April Nevels at virtualenhancement.com, but that's kind of long. So just, <laughs> April just, Nevels at yahoo.com, yeah. So April, A P R I L, Nevels, N E V E L S at yahoo.com amen and that way you can reach out to her about booking her if you having any engagements and stuff like that amen there's a lot of conferences going on and stuff you know and there you go somebody that's anointed and humble glory to god amen the bible said god resists the proud but he gives grace to the humble i don't care how good you can sing i don't want to hear you if you ain't humble <laughs> i'm sorry listen i don't care if you had the most hit the best hit on the radio station if you ain't humble i can't even listen to that amen Hallelujah, because your character should match the anointing that's on your life. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you that's so true. much. <laughs> she yeah. said that's the truth. It is. Thank you so you much, have April. Wonderful people in your in your ministry, Pastor. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking at the comments. Wonderful people in your ministry. Wow. And wow. I pray for you all. I pray that God continues to bless you. Pray Thank that you. you continue to change the world and impact mm -hmm. the world the way that you're doing it. Because I know you will. Don't give up, man. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care how many comes against you. Don't even give them no energy. You don't even have to mention them because mm -hmm. God is greater. God does more for you than they can do harm to you. Amen. You hear me? Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for that. I love you. I love you too. Thank you. I need you don't know how much I needed that today today. Cause some it's like I'm telling you, when as God begins to increase you, those who you thought was for you begin to show you who they really are. Yeah. It, yeah. And it'd be the, like I said, be the ones that you've given thousands to that don't want to see God do great. I'm talking about the same way that be like, oh, I want God. Oh, oh, God gonna bless you. But then when he starts to bless you, then they get offended. But what they fail to realize is that if God is elevating me and you're connected to the one that God is blessing, that means we blessed because I'm not going to let me go somewhere that my friend and somebody I'm connected to ain't going. That means everything that's connected to the soil is blessed. Amen. So why would I become jealous of the soil that I'm sowing into? If God is blessing you, that means I'm next in line because I'm connected to the soil that's blessed. Literally, somebody sent me a flyer telling me that they're having a birthday dinner. And I said, I'm coming. To she said, no, you're not. Are you serious, Pastor? I said, yeah, you connected to the soil. You tired. I got to show up. She was like, don't make me cry. She said, don't make me cry, Pastor. You serious? Yes. You faithfully tired of him. Oh, that's the least I can do is come show up at your birthday dinner and be a blessing when you're faithfully tired and so on so that we can reach more souls before Christ can come. That's the least. Yeah. That's the least you can do. I'm so, you said birthday it made me think my birthday is Sunday. Oh, my you birthday coming up too. My birthday. Yeah. Oh, wow. Your birthday is Sunday. And God just sent you a thousand dollars. Woman of God, you got to do something nice for yourself. You got to listen. Yeah, you got to. Yeah, you got to. And you, I mean, you got to make up for, because I know I saw your post about you, you not being able to go to your dad thing. So you got to. Let me tell you, uh -huh. Pastor, thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. He got it. And he was, I said, Daddy, the people are so to you because I was so sad. You don't understand. I had five, four tickets wow. and every last one of them got canceled. Wow. Like they were booked. And they got canceled. So all I can pop it up to is this, it just wasn't God's will for me to go for whatever reason. Uh -huh. And I'm okay with what God allows. I, I'm rest, I don't want to sit up here and be bitter and yeah. be sad. Like, oh, why didn't you let it happen? Because it must not have been yeah. true. And I'm okay mm -hmm. with that. But I thank you so much for even Because I remember another time my father was on the street. He was doing street ministry. And you asked me for his cash app and you were a blessing to his wow. ministry. You remember that? I don't remember, but that sounded like me. <laughs> oh my God. You were a blessing to his ministry. Uh -huh. That's just what you do. 
you bless so many people, you lose track. Listen, I've been seeing people, they be like, you bought me and my friend lunch. Remember, you stopped by the gas station to get gas, and you asked us, was we hungry? You went across the street and got us some food. I was like, what? I said, and I'd be like, because I, I just do, I just, it's God's own. It don't belong to me. No, it's God through you. It's God through you. I'm just grateful that he trusts me to do this. Amen. Hallelujah. Love keeps no record. I'm glad. I'm glad he don't keep record of all the stuff I done listen all the time. We repent. I'm glad he placed our sinners. He said, Father, the east is from the west. Listen, he, listen, throwing up in people's face. You remember I did this? Uh-uh. I ain't doing nothing. God did it through me. I'm just a vessel. Listen, so I ain't throwing none up in your face. Amen. That's a good, that's a good spirit to have. Yes. Listen, I, I'm not, I'm uh -huh. not nothing to be bragging about. Uh-uh. Don't I, boast on me. I ain't perfect. I got flaws just like the next and person. Listen. Guess what? I love the Lord. Amen. And I know He heard my cry and He forgives my yes, sins. Yes, He does. I, I listen. Every night before I go to bed, you mm -hmm. know, because I love Him. Yes, that, and I got to listen. I got to make sure I tell him, Lord, listen. I tell him daily, Lord, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. If I did anything that's not please. Do you know every day when we start our live in the mornings, we, we, we have repentance? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we do repentance. Uh, it would be different times. Normally, we do it Thursday night for communion, and we do Saturday Sabbath worship, and then we do Sunday. So I'm not seven day advances, but we just we 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 do Sabbath worship. The Bible said keep okay. the Sabbath holy, so we do that too on Saturdays. But normally it's Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. But sometimes in the morning, God have me get up, and so like literally, I'm get up and you know, and we'll start the morning with worship sometime. But um, but yeah, I'm telling you, people literally be inboxing me saying, Pastor, you're not going live today. Love, Lord. <laughs> You got to come to teach them. You got to teach them. I'm talking about, it be, and get this, and sometimes it be young people. I'm talking about young wow. people, young men. You young pastor. I know, well, yeah, I'm just, I'm talking about, some, listen, sometimes I go in the gym, woman of God, young guys that's in high school come up giving me fist pump. Man, you the pastor, you be going live on TikTok. Man, keep preaching the word, man. Keep going. Wow. Guys coming off the basketball court at the gym to give me fist pump, telling me keep going. Man, yo, the message is a blessing. I be needing that pastor. Young guys, because what's the one thing that, yeah, what's the one thing that never leave a person here in that phone? Boy, they be strolling. So while, uh -huh. so while people trying to open up a physical building, guess what? This is the thing that don't leave. You got right here a, a, a huge audience of thousands that got this, this phone just sitting there strolling. And they're yeah. looking for something positive, something to speak to their spirit man. You better know it. You yeah. better know it. That's what they're looking for, and God is using you yeah. to be able to give that to them. Yeah. So, uh, mm, so people be saying, oh, you need to get a physical bill. I'm going to do what God say. Listen, no, don't be trying to push me in no building. Uh -uh. I don't, know. don't be trying to push me in there, having that overhead over my life. You, you know, like one, listen. <laughs> like, okay, like one lady, she would go live, you know, and she was telling the people, y'all had me open up this church, and y'all don't even show up. <laughs> and I said, uh-uh. That's I said, uh-uh, uh-uh, listen, uh-uh, uh -uh. follow what God said. Yeah, what God say. amen, yeah. The lady was preaching on live, just sitting in her chair from her church because ain't nobody showing up in there talking about, y'all had me open up this church, I see. Uh-uh, no, what did God say? If God ain't telling me to do it, I ain't doing it. That's right, Uh-uh, uh-uh, no. That way we can feed, we can feed more homeless. We can bless more people that need a car. We can pay for more live recorders. You ready to record anything, April? Are you ready to release something? Let us know. Come on, listen. We'll help you find the vision. Glory to God. We I ain't will. Singing so long, Pastor Cornelius. I have not singing so long. With what God um, placed in you? Oh my God. Yeah, I sing so long. I mean, I sing from my feet at church, yeah. you know. But as far as recording anything or mm -hmm. trying to uh, do any, you know. I just, um, you know. You sound like me I, right now. <laughs> I love to sing, but it's, I love to sing. Yeah. But it's just so, so many things attached to it nowadays that I just rather serve in another capacity. See, so you know, um, you know more. You know. <laughs> yeah, you know a lot. You know, so that's yeah. But yeah, but but I believe the remnant is rising too. I believe God is raising pure vessels that love him for real, that, that won't bow to bail, those that ain't doing it for, you know, the fame and fortune, but doing it because they love him and they're worshipers. Amen. And I believe that he's sending destiny helpers, helpers to help us fund the vision. Amen. People that believe in what you carry. I believe in what's on your life. Amen. Carlos Hill say, we missed that voice, April, on Instagram. You know, Carlos Hill, he does the Stella. Yeah. <laughs> he said he loved you too early. He commented he loved April. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Um, he used to always make a make a place for me on his stage. He used to wow. do the um, Urban Soul Cafe. He still does that during the war. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. And I mean, everybody wanted to be on that stage. Really? And I know they probably still do. After yeah. That, there was no more. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Also, that see, you know everything. That's why you don't want to say. See, you know, you know, know everything. Like you just, you ain't new to this, huh? I've met, I've met some amazing people in the music uh-huh. industry. I've met, I don't, I don't have yeah. bad things to mm-hmm. say about any of them. Mm-hmm. It's just, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I just lost confidence mm-hmm. when it came to singing publicly. I lost all confidence. You know, I was singing with my sisters, mm-hmm. and then moved here and started operating in a different capacity. And was doing some singing, I mean, here at the church. And then, you know, I don't know. It just, the, the enemy just robbed me of my confidence. But well, we declare that he it's won't do that no more. Well, I declare confidence to you. I declare holy boldness to you. That you will stand firm and release the glory of God in the earth. Amen. That everything that God has in you, I declare that it's going to come out. That somebody's going to get what God has placed inside of you. They're going to get their breakthrough. They're going to get their healing. Amen. And you're going to release the glory of God. Because this is what we need, worshipers. That's what we need. Because you got, you see how you say, I sang for my seat. And that's what God wants. Somebody. I don't need a microphone and I don't need a stage. Listen. And that's. The gratefulness of God. All that he's done for me. That's enough for me to scream out. I don't care what I sound mm-hmm. like. When I don't, I don't need a microphone. I don't need to be perfect for man. Yeah. I know God loves. That boy's back in Jesus' name. Well, in the name of Jesus, <laughs> I receive that. I receive yeah, he said we want that back. That name back in Jesus' name. Listen, if you, if you look, we can make it happen. Whenever you're ready, you just say the word, Amen, and we'll help get you there so that you could be on that stage, Amen. Oh. We will help get you there. We, I'm telling you, we will. We did it last year. We we helped cover some artists, they hotel and they travel. Wow. Yeah. See, people don't know this, you know, because we don't never say anything. But yeah, if God lead us, yes. See, and this is why God keep blessing his ministry because we're kingdom minded. We're helping yeah. to bless other people in the kingdom. Like, do you know people when they allow you to come sing on the platforms because they feel like it's their page, they platform, they follow us? Oh, uh-uh, we one body with many members, baby. We in this together. Yeah. We in this together. This ain't my platform. This God's own. And the moment you start to act like it's about you, he'll strip you of it. Mm, that's the truth. Look, make you have to start fresh all over. Yeah. Uh uh-uh, no, this ain't mine. This God's own. Amen. God. It's God's. Amen. Hallelujah. I want the world to hear you. Amen. I want the world to hear you saying and book you and have you come right to their conferences. Amen. Uh-huh. Listen, yes. And your daughter too. Book her too. Oh Lord. Her daughter can sing too, y'all. Listen. She got it. She got it. Both of y'all got it. I want you to say a special prayer for her too. Mm-hmm. The enemy comes after her too, so just so that's a, that's an attack against y'all. That ain't just that's the against the bloodline. But Father, I just thank you for them. I thank you for her life. God, I thank you that this is not by coincidence, but this is a divine appointment. Father, we bind every word curse. Release against the Nevils, against April Nevils, against her daughter, against her family. We buy all witchcraft, voodoo, divination, sorcery, premature death against the assignment that you called them to do, wanting them to throw in the towel. But God, we buy every word curse, declaring that she won't say, declaring that her daughter won't say, declaring that souls won't be delivered through them. And we send them things back to outer darkness, back to the pits of hell from which they came. And God, we declare that they will fulfill purpose, that they will operate with boldness, that souls will be delivered, set free, captives will be set free, broken hearts will be mended back together again. God, give them back that hunger to be used for your glory. Revive them again and send every resource that they need to make it happen. And we declare that it's done and that the plans and plots of the enemy are canceled tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That's what it is. It's just an, it, was, it was just an attack against y'all. That's all. Can I tell y'all, I was teaching about that before I called you. People are intimidated by what you carry. So in the spirit, they sacrifice so that you don't do what God told you to do. Yes. Oh, yeah. And they would, some of these people would give. That's why when we find about giving God a hundred, there are people that would give hundreds so that you don't, so your business decrease, so that nobody book you. Oh, yes. And get this. And it'd be witches in the pulpit. Let me tell you, there's witches in ministry that we be calling our friends and, oh, that's my bro. Man, please, they be the main ones trying to find out what's going on in your life to take money to a voodoo priest to stop you. Main one, smiling in your face, but releasing money because they don't want to see you excel. 
but it won't work in yeah. Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Thank you so much, April, for blessing us tonight. Uh, thank you so much. Listen, Lord willing, I, um, if I have strength, Lord, well, I got, I'm gonna declare that I have strength in Jesus' name. Uh, um, you know, I tag in it, but if you if you tag if you're sharing the post on your page, like if you posting it, make sure you tag us. You can tag the ministry page or my personal page, and I accept it on mine so we can share. But when you say thank you, make sure you say God. Well, I want to thank Jesus for using Pastor C. Don't you don't just say thank me, but make sure you give God the praise for using me. Amen. Because I'm the vessel. So say thank you, Jesus, for using Pastor C you know, to sow a thousand to my life. How would the Lord tell you? But I just want to make sure he gets the glory. Amen. Because it's all about him. Amen. And, and, and watch this. Watch how this triggered more people that believe in what you care to start sowing into you. That's all it takes is somebody for them to see that one person believe in you. And now those that's been connected. But let me sow into you. Let me show, because because sometimes there are people just on the sideline that should have been a blessing to you years ago, but now, but some of them don't feel like some of us worth twenty five dollars. But then when they see somebody sewing big into your life, oh wait, hold on, let me show them I'm a sew too. Yes. Oh yeah, because now they see there's other people on the outside that believe in you when they should have been doing this. Help me, Holy Ghost. Can I tell you, woman of God, all it takes is for one person to sow into your life and those that got the resources that been connected to for years that have been using you for conferences and different stuff, they're going to say, wait, hold on. I can't let nobody on the outside outdo me. And you may just get a secret cash out from somebody or somebody, someone saying, keep going. Somebody sowing. Let me tell you, all it takes is one to see that you're fertile soil to sow into. And now it triggers the effect. Cause there's some people that they don't mind people giving you twenty dollars. Oh, they don't. They don't mind people giving you fifty dollars or, or, or thirty dollars. See, but when they see people getting in them three, four digits, oh, uh, uh, hold on. Now they see you. Oh, wait. So this means she fertile soil. Let me sow into it too. Watch where it starts. But when people be like, "Oh, I'm not gonna tell nobody. I don't want nobody to know about my blessing, baby." You just messed your own self up. Cause the Bible say, "Look, oh." Uh, he said, we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. The Bible said, boast in the Lord. He said, let your light so shine that others will see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. When they see what God is doing in your life, it ignites the, that their faith. And now it brings glory to God. Because now somebody said, wow, I was trusting God for that same amount. And if God just supernaturally released it to you, I know he can do it for me. So now he just used you to activate somebody else's faith. It works like that. Yeah. It does. And watch how people, I'm telling you, watch how people that should have been a blessing to you years ago start to do it. Watch. All it takes is one. It happened with me. People that's been following ministry for years, then they see people sewing. Now they want to sew. And I'm like, Lord, this lady be on the live every day giving me a hard time. And, I, you know, and I'm back trying to keep repeating stuff. Now she want to give, or now he want to give because they see other people giving. And now they come back testifying. Can I tell you, at first they weren't giving, but now that they start giving, pastor, I got a raise. Pastor, because I see you should have been doing this a long time ago, baby. You know, sowers, sowers never lack. God gives seed to the sower. But sometimes it takes for them to see somebody else sowing to you for them to do it. Yeah, that's all it takes. And it's nothing against them. We love them. You know, but like you say, some people just got to be taught. Amen. And then some people got to see that other people value you. Okay. That's right. Let me tell you, I'm, I'm telling you, because listen, there are people that will try to give you beneath what they know you worth. But when they see people giving you thousands, OK, so now I got to make sure that when I book, I make sure I give her five thousand. Right. Some you ain't even asked for because they see you're worthy of it. Wow. It's real. It's real. <laughs> yeah. Because now they see why. Wow, if other people saw a thousand to you, that means I show up and not come at you and offer you no hundred dollars to say, saying at the prayer breakfast. Let me up this up. Listen, knowing I could do more. Let me give her 5000 the same. Okay, are you available for this wedding? We're going to give you 5000 Knowing they would have tried to offer you $50 at first. But they see other people believe in you. So now it, it, it yeah, because they got it. It's not that they don't got it. It's just that sometimes people get familiar with us. Familiarity. It's real. You know that? Yeah, they get common. Yes, thank you. I just yeah. preached on that the other day. Well, you had to tell them sometimes you got to leave your place of comfortability. So tonight you're, you're in a different soil. So now guess what? Now those that are right, wow, somebody believe in you like that? Let me sow it to you. You know what? Hey, well, you are fertile soil. You do love the Lord. Let me sow it to you. That's what I'm telling you. But well, all it takes is one. That's all it takes. And then they're going to come back testify. Yeah? Like last night. 
I um I tied into Pastor Tasha Cobb's letter. Before I could even get good back to my seat worshiping, five hundred dollars came to me. What? Real fast. Yeah. Wow. Before I can even get, I'm telling you, the Bible said when you are tired, he will rebuke the devourer for your name's sake. I got. The devourer, that's so true. Oh, that's so true. I'm talking about, he stops the attack of the enemy. So, wherever people are trying to sacrifice to curse your finances, they can't stop it because you got weight in the spirit. You're tithing. So, that's why he said, prove me. We don't prove the pastor. We don't prove the church. We prove God. That's why the pastor don't owe us anything. God is the one that owes us. God said, prove me. I will open you the windows of heaven. So don't throw up saying, well, what the pastor don't do to me? He said, I'm going to do it for you. Right. I'm going to rebuke the devourer. That's what he does. You know, one of the things I love, April, is when I ask those that tithe here, do y'all need any groceries, anything? Can I tell you what all the faithful tithers say? Pastor, we good. Do you need anything? <laughs> Wow. Now, when do you see that? Pastor, we good. Do you need anything? So then I opens it up to everybody else. Is there anybody else on the live tonight that need groceries? And I have my assistant um, order them groceries on Instacart and have it delivered the same night. People that don't even support the ministry. But then some of them try to abuse it every week. Uh uh, we ain't doing that, baby. You got a job, you need to be tithing somewhere. Yeah. And some of them will lie and be like, oh, well, I'll tie that, that ministry. Well, why you ask them to put groceries in your house? That's why you faithfully tie to see if they can assist you. Wow. Because ain't no way me being a pastor going to let a faithful tie into this soil and not have food to eat in their house. I wouldn't be a man of God if I allowed that to happen. I wouldn't. Mm -mm. I would be convicted to know that somebody faithfully tied every week, giving God their 10%, but don't got no groceries in their house. Thank you, man of God. He said, Pastor, see, your ministry is so necessary. Thank you, brother. To God be the glory. So can, I, can I tell you, there's times that I order groceries right here on my, on my, I got Instacart too on my, on my phone. There's times I order groceries for people that don't even support the ministry. Wow. Don't even tithe here. Pastor, I need with food and I do it. As God allowed me. But that's why you're so blessed, Pastor. Mm -hmm. To God be the glory. And sometimes some of them be like, I'm sending my last. So God help me send it back and tell them to name the seat what they believe in God for. But sometimes it's because if I know it's your last, I'm going to be wondering, well, do they have food to eat? So you know what I would do? I send them back money sometimes. If they send, there's been time one lady, I think she sent a hundred, I sent it back a thousand. So sometimes because I pray over the seat individually, I pray corporately, but then after I get off the live, I pray over every single seat individually. <laughs> I literally pray over every single wow. seat and I respond back to every single person with the praying hand symbol on cash out. Every wow. single seat. Or on Venmo, I respond back to them. I, I personalize because I want people to know you're not a number here. I actually pray over every single seat. Call your name out to God. That's powerful. Yeah, every single one. Yeah. To God be the glory. To yeah. God be mm, the glory. It's all God. It's all God. And I'm telling you, all God. All God. And I just love it how every faithful tither don't need no food in their house. It's not that because what did the Bible say? He will rebuke the, the devourer. devourer for your name's sake. But get this. The ones that always need help financially are the ones that don't tithe. Pastor, you think you can help me out with a few dollars? Right. But they don't tithe. Then you say, well, what ministry do you tithe to? Oh, hey, you know, I'm looking, I'm in between churches right now, bro. You know, I mean, they will find every excuse. You don't have to be a member of a ministry to tie there. Right. Now, which which Instagram is yours? Is it H-E-A-V-E-N-S dot I-M-P-A-C? Yeah, that one. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's the right one. So that way you can tag both of us as collaborators. That way I accept the tag on both pages. Okay, I got you. Yeah, okay. But I wanted your church to see, so I'll invite okay. you to collaborate. I accept both. Heavens, it's heavens dot, yeah, heavens dot, yeah, let me make sure it's right. Yeah, heavens dot impact, the one, yeah, on um, Instagram, yeah. Amen. That's right, Apostle Courtney, he said, tie this triumph. Amen. You have, you know Apostle Courtney Franklin can sing. We got to have him on here. The Apostle Courtney Franklin. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, Courtney Frank. This is April Neville's um, Apostle Courtney Franklin. Um, um, Apostle yeah, um, April Neville's anointed woman of God. Yes, I'm telling you, I followed your, your worship over the years. Amen. And I just, I love, let me tell you, you could just see your love for God and your smile. 
<laughs> you know, I know some people, they ain't even got to say the name of Jesus. You can just see it in them. You see it in your smile. You know, people be like, it's something different about you. <laughs> yeah, your smile just say you different. Yeah. Yeah, your, 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 your smile just shows, you know, I'm different. I love God for real. Amen. I love that. Yeah, I love that. That's right. Amen. Oh, he said he love you and your sister, so he know who you are, April. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he said I love her and her sister. Another gentleman said April is a very good singer on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tell them God bless them. Yes, they hear you. Yes. You say thank y'all. They hear you. Yeah. I mean, God is see, you just this is why you can't stop saying it, April. You see how God sent all this confirmation. You uh, we ain't gonna let you stop. Amen. We ain't gonna let you stop. Amen. You see that? The support, the people that love you. That's why you just never know the life that you impact. People love you. Amen. I always tell, I tell people, you know, if there's more for you than what's trying to come against you. I believe that. Mm -hmm. I believe that. Yeah. I believe that. There's I more for that. you. Yep, yeah, it is. I'm telling you, there's people just waiting to help you do what God has called you to do. You talking to them. <laughs> just waiting to help you do what God has called you to do. Listen, I mm -hmm. trust that God is mm -hmm. gonna make you know make it happen. He's gonna make a way. He's gonna mm -hmm. put the desire. Oh, the Lord. desire never left, but mm -hmm. I believe He'll rebuild that confidence and allow it to. Well, we uh, declare it's happening now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Carlos said we want April, May, and June. No, uh, May and June. No, we are April, 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 May and June. No, Amen. That's right. Amen. Uh, man of God, he's, the ways to sow it in the bio. Heavens with one S in impact. That's the cash out. Heavens got one S in impact. My face picture is not on there. It says make room for what you've been praying for. No, no I'm telling somebody else because um, they, they're looking for the cash out. Yeah, on on the on ministry page, it got it's just a um, a, a blue image on Instagram that says um, Heavens Impact. It's like a, a light blue background on um, Instagram. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, and it shows that I was following, that I'm following only one person. But but yeah, God, I just thank God for your humility, April. It's so refreshing. Wow, it is. And I thank God for yours. <laughs> no, be talking about you right now. <laughs> thank you to God be the glory. Amen. To God, to God it's all God. Amen. But I know better. It's all God. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, April. If you need anything, listen, don't hesitate to call her. Somebody say, tell a oh, Apostle Courtney say, tell April she's necessary and anointed. He put capital letters, necessary. Listen, let you know. See, the people love you, April. You can't stop saying it. I'm telling you. Watch, I'm telling you, all it takes is one to sow into your life. I wouldn't be surprised if people you connected to offer to pay for stuff for you in, within your own ministry. I wouldn't be surprised if people be like, April, hey, we got to get you in the studio. You know, let's release something. Because when they see others being, all it takes is one. Because sometimes, you know, we could be serving around people for years. And like you say, they get comfortable, familiar. You they bro. You, I mean, you they sis. They, they your bro. So it's like, yeah, we family. You know how it is with really normal family. You get used to get common with them. So it takes somebody outside to bless you. Like, oh, wait, hold on. There is value in my brother. There is value in my sister. Can I tell you about my own family that's watching tonight? They tied right here. <laughs> my mama tied here. My sister tied here. Now that speaks my that's mama, yep, yeah, they both look. My mama and my sister tied here, and I'm talking about. Uh, I came. I come from a family where they listen. They but listen. They weren't giving no money to none. Mm, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. weren't giving no money to nothing. Yeah. Wow. And look at that. Yeah. And I bet you they blessed now. Oh yeah. Oh, listen. You are good ground. To God, it's all God. It's all yes. God. Yes, it's all God. If you could see the work that God has did in my sister, it's oh, amazing. God. Yeah. Talking about one of my sisters used to beat me in a. <laughs> Look, it got listen. I watched my sister. Oh, she said they might have needed. Yeah, I watched my sister slaying her ex boyfriend by his dreads in the parking lot, <laughs> as if he was a rag doll. Swung him around. Amen. Lord, I'm saying amen. Lord, I mean, but yeah, but I'm saying she yeah doing like how some men be doing women. Yeah, but and and God has changed her. Now she on here, she tithes, she souls, talks about God. 
And she used to be, yeah, she wasn't nothing like that. They can't, they can't be connected to you and not be blessed and mm-hmm. not be thriving in their spiritual lives. I know God is going to continue to allow them to grow because they have a mm-hmm. they have, have <laughs> a powerhouse right in their family. To God be the glory. It's all yeah, God. Uh, Mr. J, I'm sorry, my brother. I refunded you back your seed. So we name our seeds, my brother. So when you tonight we're naming our seed, God favor me. So I ain't, please don't get it, take it personal, my brother. But yeah, we don't, we don't, if the seed not named, we send money back if it's not named, because every seed has an assignment. Yeah, so we just want to know what you're believing God for. But tonight we're naming our seed, God favor me. Amen. So yeah, one of the things God taught me on April, every seed has an assignment. He said, he said, when people want to sow into your life, ask them, what is this for? Because can I tell you, some people will sow into you to block you. Yeah. So, yeah. We, so uh, name it. That's right. Amen. So, we name it. I'll see God favor me. So, with tonight, those of you that just came on, we're giving a $100 sacrificial seat. If you ain't got it, you give your best seat to God. And we're naming our seat, God favor me. Amen. Well, I gave a 1000 but you give whatever is a sacrifice for you. We're naming our seat, God favor me. Amen. All right. All right. April, listen, we could talk all night. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Did you, you already posted it? Because I'm going to accept it while we're on the phone. Thank you, Prime. I keep getting right. I keep getting tired of this conversation, but it's sitting right on Listen, somebody tag me now. Talking about, uh, okay, uh, Lord, when I tell a woman of God, we be suing into so many people, I be forgetting. Um, Prophet, Lee, <laughs> Prophet Leon just tagged me on something saying, wow, thank you, brother. Pastor, see, your ministry is a blessing to the world because I sold into him earlier when I wasn't on the live. So he just, I'm telling, I, I, I just love what God is doing. You know, it's this, people need to see that all pastors ain't trying to take from you. That's right. That we lead by example. They need to see it. So when people say, why we got to see this? No, because people need, people are perishing for lack of knowledge because there's nobody there to lead by example. Somebody yeah. need to see. Amen. Because then your life will shift when you start activating your faith. It works. Amen. It works. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Wow. It works. So um, thank you. Um, woman of God, make sure that, um, that's right. Amen. God favor me. All right. We receive your seat. But sweetheart, you don't have to put your last on there. If it's your last, you don't have to name it your last. Okay. All right. Because when you put it your last, I'm going I'm to send it back because I'm wondering like, I'm going to know if you got food to eat. Amen. So I'm going to pray over your seat, but I'm going to send it back to you, my sister. But yeah, don't, if you send in your last, that should be between you and God. Amen. Because the Bible says the eyes of the Lord are everywhere. God see everything. And if that's your last, you better believe he's going to send it right back. Amen. But a lot of times, April, people try to use manipulation to say it's their last because they know my heart. You heard me? So they'll say it's their last because they know I sow right back. And can I tell you, God had to show me, he said, this is why they don't have nothing. That's why they last. Because there'll be times I sow hundreds back into people that say this is their last and they don't even send their tithes back. Ain't that something? They don't need to, they don't even need to announce that. God. Yeah. And literally, there's been times that God says, stop doing it because these people are using manipulation. Yeah. They want you to give back to them. Stop that. Because there's been times I'd be like, well, let me, Lord, this day last. Let me just send them 100. Let me send them 50. And literally, you would think that they have the common sense to send their tithe back and they offer it and they don't. Some of them, I'd message them the next day. I'd be like, you're not going to tithe? And they won't even respond. Wow. <laughs> I said, you're not going to give God his tithe? Listen, I can't wait for this thing here. I'm sure. I mean, I can't wait. Listen, I'm, oh, you done sold, woman of God. You already gave 100 oh. tonight. I mean, you already gave over 100 tonight. So. I, 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 yeah. got, I got a burning. <laughs> I got a burning. Listen, and, it, and watch how fast it come back. Yeah. My, my friend yeah. gave me a number, too. I don't, I don't um, where, uh, it's a number that you call, Lord. I don't know if I even... If I saved it, but there's a number you can call on PayPal and they release your money right away. Yeah. Oh, really? Uh-huh. He gave it. I didn't know it either. But yeah, I never knew it because we're not buying anything. We're sowing a seed. We're giving. That's why I send this friends and family. I don't send it if I'm purchasing from you because we sow on the God. Yeah, I think it told me three days. Oh, three. Yeah, because, oh, but that's, I mean, that's fine. But sometimes there's a number that he calls. I'm looking up, but there's a number. I think his wife sent it to me. Let me see. Yeah, and literally, because they was like, bro, they holding the money. And they found some number, and everything got released right away to them. Uh, what? Yeah, I don't know how they do it. But it was like, here, this is the number that on the kitchen call. And it released right away on PayPal to them. As soon as you get it. I'm, I'm looking in the, the um, message now. 
Yeah. But thank you so You're much. You're welcome. Man. You're welcome. I thank God for tonight. I thank God for your prayers, most of all. And I thank God for the word that you spoke into my life and into my ministry because I'm holding that and I'm believing God for it. I believe the Bible said where two or three mm -hmm. are gathered together in his name, he will be in the midst. And if it be declared in the mouth of two or three witnesses, mm -hmm. that it will be so. So I'm believing that it all, it's already done. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be. It's done right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Great. I declare great over your life. Amen. Yeah. That, that God even give you speaking engagements. Yeah. Wow. More than I just singing. Just yeah, more than I just singing. There's so much more in you. I can't even. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 you, I got book, you got books in you. You got stuff in you that you don't went through that, that women need. Yeah. Wow. You, yeah. You got stuff. I can just hear it in the spirit. So there's, there's more in you. You're not just a singer. Like people need what you got in you, the stuff that you went through. There's some of the stuff that you haven't told nobody that's personal. There are women that need to hear this stuff because they're going through it now. And how can you, how can, there's no test, I mean, no testimony without a test. How can you tell me that God can deliver me if he never brought you out of anything? So people need to hear that, what you've been through, because they need to know that they're going to make it. Amen. Because some of them are currently facing the same things and they need to hear that. Amen. Yep. Amen. They need to hear that. Yeah. So I'm going to let name. you go. I'm not going to hold you any <laughs> longer on this live. Amen. And, um, call my daughter but and talk to her because now, now she's <laughs> on my phone, but I'm going to call her right now. And um, thank you so much even for bringing her name up because yes. I never said her. I never brought her up, yes. but you brought her up. So I know God. Because God is mindful of her. Uh -huh. Yeah, God yeah. is mindful of her. And I'm going to call her right now. And I love you. Love, I love you, you too. congregation. Anytime you need me, you just call me. Thank All you right? so much. Yes. Thank, listen, I'm telling you, this ain't the last time. There's more coming. Yeah, I more watch. Me. All right. God bless you. I'll talk with you God later. God bless you. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Listen, people of God, can everybody just come at Jesus? I love you. If you love the Lord, can you just come at Jesus? I love you. Amen. Jesus, I love you. Hallelujah. Remember? PayPal. Amen. Hold on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. To release, amen, for them texting somebody, excellent. Can you just come in, Jesus, I love you. Hallelujah. If you love the Lord tonight, can you just tell him, Jesus, I love you. I love you, Lord. Amen. I see it. Jesus, I love you. Listen, people of God, if you were blessed tonight, you enjoyed the word, the worship tonight, the message, can you come in on the screen? I am blessed. Amen. If you enjoyed the worship, the word tonight, I want you to come in on the screen. I am blessed. Amen. If you enjoyed the word, the worship tonight, amen, I want you to come and I am blessed. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I am blessed. Hallelujah. Can you just come in there? I am blessed. Hallelujah. God is so amazing, y'all, and he's up to some amazing things. Amen. Hallelujah. I am blessed. Amen. It's coming. Hold on. In Jesus' name. Amen. Listen, people of God, I see you. She said, Jesus, I love you. Amen. Amen. I want you to come in. I am blessed. Amen. I see you. Amen. Miss Maisha James, I see you on YouTube. I see you, Miss Deanna, on Facebook. Come on. I am blessed. Amen. I see you, Miss Kali K on TikTok. I see you, Miss Anonymous on TikTok. I see you, Miss Annie. Amen. I see you guys. Come on over on um, Instagram, Miss K. HP underscore seven, seven. I am blessed. Amen. This is the part that everybody gets to play a part. Amen. This offering time. Amen. And one of the things that we, you know, we want to do, we never want to go into the presence of God without giving something to God. Amen. Here it is. God activate our faith. He ignite us, charge us up. And we just say, all right, thank you. I enjoyed the word. God bless you. But we want to keep the will of God going in the earth. Amen. So this is the time everybody gets to play a part. It's offering time. I'm not going to tell you what to give God, but everybody, let's get something to give to God, whatever you feel he's worthy of. And we're going to name our offering tonight. Amen. I am blessed. Amen. I am blessed. Here it is coming in Jesus' name. I am blessed. Amen. We're going to name our offering tonight. I am blessed. Why do we name our offering I am blessed? Because the Bible says, if you would decree a thing, it shall be established here on earth. Amen. So we're naming our offering tonight. I am blessed. Amen. We're naming it tonight. I am blessed. Those of you that are giving tonight, amen, you can give. Um, thank you, woman of God. Your name starts with an A. I declare the blessing of the Lord upon your life, that God will continue to bless you, cover you, and give you back even greater. In Jesus' name. So tonight we're naming our offering. I am blessed. Amen. For those of you that are giving tonight, if you want to give through Cash App, it is dollar symbol H as in heaven, E-A-V-E-N-S. 
Impact, I-M-P-A-C-T. Make sure you name your offering, I am blessed. Amen, um, sweetheart that just sent something. Can you please put spaces between your words? All right, I just sent you back what you sent. I know you're saying, Jesus, I love you, but you got all your, you got the words smashed together. And that don't sit well with my spirit, right? you know? Because I feel like when you're sending a seed and all your words are smashed together, it's like you're giving so that nothing could come in. Because if everything is smashed together, there's no room for nothing to get in. So I feel like you're sowing to cause blockages. Amen. So if you're giving an offering, name your offering. I am blessed. Amen. Those of you that are giving, thank you, woman of God. Your name start with an S. I decree and I declare the blessing of the Lord upon your life that God will continue to bless you, cover you, and give you back even greater. Thank you, man of God. Your name starts with an R. I decree and I declare the blessing of the Lord upon your life in Jesus' name. Thank you, my brother. Your name starts with a J. I bind the spirit of lack from off your life and I declare the blessing of the Lord upon your life. Also, thank you, woman of God. Your name starts with an H, and you name your seed, God favor me. I bind every assignment of the enemy from off your life, and I declare deliverance to you. I know you say you gave your last, but I pray that God increase your hunger and your thirst for him, that God will give you a hunger and thirst for righteousness, and that he will teach you the importance of being a faithful tither, and that as you begin to tithe and put God first, I declare that he's going to rebuke the divine for your name's sake. In Jesus' name. Amen. Those of you that are giving your offering tonight, make sure that you name your offering tonight. I am blessed. Amen. Make sure that you name your offering. I am blessed. Y'all, I want to call somebody and be a blessing to them, but I know it's probably going to take all night. And I, listen, it's already getting late. And I know, glory to God. But I'm, um, so I'm like, Lord, should I just sow? I want to be a blessing to somebody tonight. Um, let me see if I could just sow into her life. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, woman of God. Amen. Make sure that you name your offer. I am blessed. Thank you. Your name starts with a K. I bind the spirit of lack and I declare the blessing of the Lord upon your life that God will continue to bless you and increase your seed for sowing. Amen. And give you even greater forgiveness into his kingdom. If you're giving through Venmo, the Venmo is at Pastor C. Edwards. Amen. Those of you that are giving through Venmo, the Venmo is at Pastor C. Edwards. So what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to give my offering, but I ain't calling nobody because... I know me, we've been us talk a whole nother 30 minutes or something. Listen, I need to pray. I ain't ate nothing all day. Glory to God. Amen. And I ain't slept since yesterday. Can I tell y'all, ever since yesterday, I've not slept. I laid down in the bed. I closed my eyes. You know, well, I, took it, I think I took like a little power nap. Miss, um, your name starts with a J. Please name your offering. I am blessed. Okay. I'm sending you back your money now. Please name your offering. I am blessed. All right. Your name starts with a J. Amen. All right, please, please, y'all, don't send money without naming. I tell y'all that all the time. Make sure that you name it. If it's your offer, name it. I am blessed. Amen. If you're sending the seed, today we're giving a sacrificial seed. We're naming it, um, God favor me. Amen. Stop that. All right. You name your offer. I, um, if, you're naming, if you're sending your offer, name it. I am blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. If you're sending an offer, name it, I am blessed. All right. If you think, good morning. I mean, not good morning. Good evening, Rodney. Amen. Father, you're worthy. Amen. So name your offering. Um, I am blessed. If you're sowing your seed, we're naming our seed. God favor me. Amen. We're declaring that God is going to favor us. Hallelujah. That he's going to favor us. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So faithful. Awesome God. Holy God. Sovereign God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Sorry. Um, those of you that are giving through Venmo, the Venmo is at Pastor C. Edwards, they say, LL, you said a whole another hour. Yeah, y'all know I've been to call somebody then. They got to pray over the seed. Then we got to, they got to, you know, pray over it. Then we're going to ask them the same. Glory to God. Listen, a whole another 30 minutes to an hour. So let me just find, there was a young lady that sold earlier. I'm going to sew back into her. Amen. She, I don't think she's on the live right now. Let me see if she's still on here. I don't think so. Listen, so we we'll, we'll have to call her another live because I already know. Let me, let me, I'm just going to call her, make sure she got the offering. Hold on, let me see. Offering. I am blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Those of you, if you get it through Venmo, it's at Pastor C. Edwards on Venmo. That's at P-A-S-T-O-R, Lord, at Pastor C. Edwards. Um, um, if you're giving through Venmo, amen, I am blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. For those of you that are giving through, um, the Zell. The Zell is connected to the email address. Boy, look at here. The devil don't want me to get no offer. Let me call her. Hold on. Cash up ain't letting me give, so I'm going to find another way to give. Amen. So um, make sure that you name your, um, your offer. Hello, woman of God. 
Hello? I keep, I keep trying to send my offering to you. I'm like, Lord, we ain't calling nobody because we're going to be on the phone another 30 minutes. Listen, I, I said, listen, I've been trying to cash up and let me send them. Do you got Venmo? Um, I do not have PayPal? Zelle? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. send me your Zelle. I'm going to send my offering to you. Is it under your phone number? Yes, it is. Okay, let me send you. Um, do you work tomorrow? What tomorrow is Friday? Oh yeah, you. Yes. But I mean Saturday, um, because I want to make sure I get you on here because I want you to sing. And listen, I know that if we be on here, we gonna be on here a whole another thirty minutes. Cause listen, hold on one second. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Father, your word. See what I'm talking about? You see? <laughs> Let's see. Hold on. Let me go to um, Zell. See, I'm already starting to sing. Glory to God. Amen. Hold on one second. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Lord. All right, I'm going to Zell. All right. Lord is telling. See, boy, the enemy don't want this offering to go out, but the devil is a defeated liar. In Jesus' name, he's defeated. In Jesus' name, you um, have I ever given to you through Zell before? Yes, I believe so. Okay, so let me go to Zell. God is good. Faithful. And this person, Which one does it, um, is it the email address or the phone number? You can use the phone number. Okay. All right. Let me see my offer. Um, let's see. Thank you, Lord. All right. What is this thing doing? All right. Did it text you when it comes? Yes. Okay. Okay. I am blessed in Jesus' name. All right. Thank you, woman of God. Um, your name starts with a, um, uh, A. We receive your offer. And I declare the blessing of the Lord upon your life. Woman of God, boy, that thing went to you so fast through Zia. It ain't even asked me to enter code. Normally, ask me to enter code. Oh, wow. It went right to you. Wow. It went right to you. Let me know if you got it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, you welcome. Amen. You welcome. Amen. Uh, so if you can say a quick you, 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 yeah, you can say a quick prayer over. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I just ask you. Yes, Lord. First off, we just thank you. Yes. We thank you for allowing Pastor C to be a vessel for you, God. Because it is nothing but you to be him, God. And ask you, God, to protect him, God. Mm -hmm. To keep him, God, wrapped around you, Father God, wrapped in you, wrapped through you, God. Mm -hmm. And God, we just thank you for what you have done and what you're about to do, not only in his life, but the people that's surrounded by him. Because the Bible said, if I could just touch the hem of your glory, mm -hmm. God. And God, I just thank you for allowing me to be in his presence. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus, God. And I thank you because we know you want to do it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right, you want to say something for us real quick? Anything, whatever the Lord put on your heart, since we got you on. Anything, whatever the Lord, any song that's on your heart. Um, thank you, Lord, for the Gotta say thank you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you. So, boy, when I tell you, you and that April Nevels know y'all just anointed. I mean, I mean, just anointed. That is Patrice Dominique. Uh, Patrice, can you leave a comment on TikTok so the people can follow you too? Patrice. Amen. Patrice Dominique. Amen. Make sure that y'all, um, uh, um, yeah, uh, will you, yeah, so I can pin your comment. That way they can follow you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. If, uh, 
Listen, I'm, I'm, it's, it's getting later, later, later. Now, if y'all want me to, listen, y'all can y'all just declare that God give me strength? Amen. Can y'all just say, God, strengthen, Pastor. Amen. Keep strengthening him so that he can come and minister again with power and authority. Amen. Because, oof, Jesus. It's been a few days, glory to God. Pastor ain't slept since yesterday. I haven't. I done, I've been up. And I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I closed my eyes a bit. Now, did you leave a comment yet, Patrice? Thank you, Lord. You on there, Patrice, on TikTok? Hello? You must have hit the mute button, Patrice, because I can't hear you. Oh, you on, Patrice, you on Instagram. You on Instagram. That you love, amen. On TikTok? Yeah, come on TikTok, Pastor C. Edwards. Okay, hold on. That's her on Instagram. I just pinched her coming on Instagram. But Pastor C. Edwards on TikTok. I just want to play. You, Lord, I want to say thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You are amazing. You are amazing. Yeah, I see you. Oh, well, oh, the moderator did it. Thank you, Tang. I ain't know you was on here. Thank you. He went ahead and picked it. That's her, y'all. Make sure that y'all go follow Patrice Dominique. Amen. All right. Thank you so much, Patrice. All right. I'll talk with you later, okay? All right. All right. I'll see you. God bless you, too. All right. Heavenly Father, I thank you for every person that's on this live tonight. I thank you for those who came and took time to hear your word tonight. I thank you for those that did not have anything to give. God, even as they came on, God, and they just gave you time took time to worship you, took time to thank you. I pray that you bless them with seed to become sowers. God, your word say that you give seed to the sower. And there's some people on here, God, they don't have anything to sow. God, but I ask that you bless them with seed so that the next time we go live, they have seed to put on assignment. God, do it for your people. I bind the spirit of lack. And God, I even pray for those who do got seed, but just choose not to sow. We bind the spirit of comparison, jealousy, envy, strife, competition. And God, we declare unity because we're one body with many members. And God, I even pray, God, for those that did so tonight. God, even as we released our seed in faith, Father, I decree and I declare favor. As we released our seed, you said in Genesis 8 and 22, as long as the earth remains, it will be seed time and harvest. So God, I call forth the harvest. I declare harvest over every seed sower tonight that, that those that are sowed with pure motives, God, multiply their seed for sowing. Give them increase, favor, breakthrough, healing. God, do it now in the name of Jesus. God, you know what your people are in need of. And I just lift up to you every need tonight. You said in your word that you shall supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory. So God, meet the needs of your people. Somebody needs strength. Somebody needs to know that everything is going to be all right. I ask right now, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you help them to keep going, not to get weary and well-doing, knowing that in due season they shall reap if they faint not. I declare endurance to your people. Father, I even pray for those that gave their 10% of tithe and offering tonight. I decree and I declare an open heaven over every tithe into this soil. I ask right now, God, that you will begin to rebuke the devourer for their name's sake. I bind sickness, disease, infirmity, premature death, depression, oppression. I send it back to the pits of hell in the name of Jesus. And God, I pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, that you begin to move for your people, God. And we say thank you. Father, we love you. We honor you. We declare sweet sleep tonight. I haven't prayed for those that sit there offering tonight. I ask right now, God, that you give them what money came by because they release offering into this soil. Give them peace. Give them joy. Give them healing. Give them breakthrough. Give them favor, restoration. God, do it now in the name of Jesus. And God, we say thank you. We declare that tonight is an amazing night, that we will have sweet sleep, that we will wake up refreshed and renewed in the morning, ready to keep doing what you've called us to do. We bind every monitoring spirit. Those who are sitting on assignment to try to come against our sweet sleep. We rebuke and bind every word curse and we send it back to the pits of hell. In the name of Jesus. And God, we say thank you. Father, we love you so much. 
We'll forever give you all the glory, the honor, and the praises. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Everybody say amen. Hallelujah. Mr. Darrell, um, the way to give is right there on the page. Um, Tank, put it right there. It's pinned at the top. That's the correct cash out. Amen. For those of you that want to get through Zelle, I, didn't, I forgot to tell y'all, but uh, the Zelle is connected to the email address. It's anointedsanger at gmail.com. That's A as in Apple, N as in Nancy, O-I-N, T as in Terrell, E-D, S-I-N-G-E-R at gmail.com. Those of you that want to give through, the, through Zelle, it's connected to the email address. And if you want to give through PayPal, the PayPal is paypal.me forward slash heavens impact. That is paypal.me forward slash H E A V E N S impact. I M P A C T. <laughs> y'all laugh. Sometimes I crack myself up, y'all. Um, what a blessing you are to so many others. Thank to God be the glory. Sometimes I crack myself up, y'all. Let me tell y'all something about me. I love to laugh. So the Bible say laugh is like medicine. So I love to laugh, y'all. Hey Amen. I love to laugh. So sometimes I be cracking jokes on my own self. Listen, but I ain't going to tell y'all. Hey Amen. Glory to God. I be picking at my own self sometimes. Hey Amen. Lord help me. Hey Amen. But anyhow, hey Amen. Those of you that are giving through the website, make sure that you name your seed tonight. God favor me. If you're giving through, if you're sending an offer, name your offer. I am blessed. But if you're giving through the website, it is www. I be cracking on my own self, y'all. But www. Cornelius.com. Carlos say, yes, you do. I love to laugh too. Amen. It's real, bro. Um, um, those of you that keep asking for the ways to give, it's right in the bio. Amen. I feel like some of y'all doing that now to be a distraction with the fake pages on TikTok and stuff. Amen. It's heavens with one S and impact. If you're giving through on the, the website, it is www.corneliusedwards.com. That's www.corne. L-I-U-S-Edwards.com. Click on the button that says donate, although we don't donate to God. Amen. The Bible says that God loves a cheerful giver, so we freely give to God. But make sure that you name your offering, I am blessed. Tonight we gave $100, well, I gave 1000 but we're giving $100 sacrificial seed. We're naming our seed tonight, you know, um, God favor me. Amen. We're declaring that God is going to favor us. Amen. Hallelujah. We're declaring the favor of God. But I want to say this. Um, there was somebody, where is it at? Uh, Father, we honor you. Lord, I'll be picking at myself. So, Miss Janet, your name starts with a J. Glory to God. I refunded you back your money because you didn't name me. And listen, and, and I asked you to name your seed. I mean, if it's an offering, name it. I am blessed. Amen. So, this isn't your first time. You sold a seed earlier, declaring financial breakthrough. So, if you're giving your offer, name your offer. I am blessed. Amen. So I refunded you back what you sent because you didn't name it and you never corrected it. So please name your offering. I am blessed. Amen. Please name your offering. Amen. I am blessed. If it's a seed um, tonight, we're naming our seed. God favor me. Amen. And we're declaring the favor of God over our life. Amen. So if it's an offering, name it. I am blessed. If it's a seed, name it. Um, you know, I mean, if it's a seed, name it. Um, um, God favor me. Unless you believe in God for something else. Amen. You put a demand in the spirit. All right. But, um, all right. So also what was, our, um, PayPal. PayPal is paypal.me forward slash H E A B E N S. You say, I forgot. Okay. No problem. It's okay. Amen. PayPal is paypal.me forward slash heavens impact. That's paypal.me forward slash H as in heaven. E A V E N S impact. I M P A C T. All right. I love y'all so much. I will see you guys, Lord willingly, um, Saturday. And let's God say otherwise. I'll see y'all before the end. Pray for me. Glory to God. Can everybody just come in on the stream? Jesus, I love you. Before we get off here, can everybody just come in on the stream? Jesus, I love you. Only if you love them. Can you just tell them that? Jesus, I love you. Amen. Jesus, I love you. Hallelujah. Can you just tell them that? Hallelujah. It's all about you. You hear that? Yes, it's all about you. Hallelujah. From my heart to the heaven, Jesus be the center. Hallelujah. It's all about you. Yes, it is. It's all about you. I love y'all so much from my heart. See y'all later. Make sure you're following all the pages. Jesus be the center. Father, it's all about you. It's all about you, God. Yes, it's all about 
you. Come on now, TikTok. It won't let me get off the live. I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to end the live. But TikTok, make sure that you're following. Go follow the Instagram, Pastor underscore CE. Also, go follow the um the Facebook page, Heavens with One Instant Impact. No, um, it's not the one with a four at the end. Let me see what this is. Hey Amen. No, it's not the one with the four at the end. I know you got a private page, so I don't know if you're trying to be funny. But literally, it's right there in the bio. There's no number at the end of Heavens Impact. Heavens with one S did impact. But y'all just like to see me. Y'all just like to see me repeat it. Amen. They, they say, it's all about you. All right. Yes, it's all about you. All right. Love y'all. I'll see y'all on really Saturday. Unless God say otherwise. It's all about you, Jesus. Give me some time. I'll pray over your seat and I'll respond back to you. Thank you, Mr. Darrell, for the gifts. I'll speak a thousand for return over your life, my brother. Those of you that are sowing, make sure that you name your seed, um, God favor me. Remember, we gave $100 sacrificial seed. If you're giving your offer, just name it, I am blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. It's all about you. Yes, it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you. Somebody say, see you in the morning. Boy, y'all must going to pray that God, listen, that he give me supernatural strength. What's your Facebook page? It's Heavens with One S in Impact. It's the one that got 40-some thousand followers. There's a bunch of fake pages of me, y'all. So it's the one that's 40-some thousand followers. But you, if you look on the page, you can see that we just went live on Facebook because I'm about to end the Facebook video. So that way you'll know which one it is. All right, love y'all. It's all about you, Jesus. We give you glory, God. We give you honor.